so Is there a character sheet? Here, we'll just do this. I say, if you're on your character sheet, just click on your currency underneath the inventory. Ooh. Ruh -ruh. Hey, uh, Chris. Yo. Uh, just going off topic here. I did get armor three, so. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Click inventory. Yeah, what? And we click currency in the top right. Uh, armor three. Okay, cool. Uh, you yeah. can type fifty in the adjust currency, but down below. So you see what it says there? Yep, so type 50 there. It's not letting me... Are you signed in? I had to refresh your page real quick. Okay, now we'll go back to inventory and all that. Oh, let me add it. Why is it all grayed out? Oh, uh, click on the top right. Uh, click your name. Uh, click cam Click characters, actually. And then click on Eric Peterson. And then try it again. This doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. Um... Double A, we had to deal with a possible cheater, so uh, we're still trying to get started. Do I need to uh, fix my health? Yep, you can change that back to 29. Uh, once I look more into that, I'll uh, I'll post something in Discord about yeah, cheating. Everything else should be fine. Got to join Nerd Stream. I got to tell them that Nerd Streaming. <laughs> Yeah, um, look at Halif's uh, character sheet. If you see something wrong with it. Uh, I just noticed it. Oh, shit. What? I thought we were starting at 7 for some reason. No, why? We started we're at 7 one time. I say we're back to normal hours now. Uh, hey, nerd, how do I host your screen? Like, how do I host you? Uh, just uh, go to pull up your stream. And if, uh, or, uh, pull up your, uh, what is it? Dashboard. Okay, well, my channel. The creator dashboard. Uh, then on the right hand side should be a pink bunch of purple buttons. You just add in host if it doesn't already pop up. Host channel. Host channel, there we go. So, yeah, once I find out more, I'll discuss it. Something I missed uh, Tuesday last week. Uh, huh? and something I missed last Tuesday is that who they, because it didn't pop up in Streamlabs, but it popped up in my Twitch uh, activity feed. He subscribed for six months at tier one. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Didn't even, didn't even notice it because it didn't pop up in my Streamlabs. I feel bad. You should, you should send him a PM and thank him for it. I will on Tuesday. I think... I'll tell him that I love him. That happened to somebody that I was helping fucking moderate for, Tanner. Have you guys met Tanner? Mm, no. Six Sorry. Uh, who they? Or so on wave. Oh, no shit. Yeah, didn't, didn't even catch it. That he, Because he followed, then he did that at like the exact same time. And I just got the one audio for it, so. I didn't hear it twice. That's where they get you, though, is you're supposed to give the subs, not, not sub yourself. <laughs> well, I mean, I will take it. All right. Um, are you guys all in the game? Wait on I'm hopping on right now, so give me a moment. Waiting on Uru. Okay. Uh, oh, Umbra, if you... If, uh, if something does come up with uh, the gentleman leaving, by the way, I don't yeah. want to say anything. But if he does leave, uh, will we have an open slot for other people if they want to join? Yes. Do we have open slots if he stays? Uh, we probably will. Um, due to your current schedule and... Um, what is it? Um, oh, shoot. Um, uh... 
uh, Elite Evil never playing. So. Because mm -hmm. I don't, I, I, I met him playing Boulder's Gate, so I know he likes D and D. But thanks, I, I had it turned down from earlier. So whatever, if you want to spend twenty five bucks on a game and never play it, it's on you. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're consistently Thank you again, filling, Dodo, for getting it for me. We're consistently filling, you know, three to six slots, and uh, I was not in a hurry to add anybody. But with our current situation, we may add. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about asking Duke. Duke has been wanting to play for a really long time, D and D. Okay. But honestly, we'll just see how it goes. Yep. He might he might be busy with train shit too, so. Um, Umbra, while we're waiting for everybody else right. to get ready, do you want to, uh, catch, uh, Eric up on what some of the major stuff that's been happening in the world? Like, why the board's changed? Wait, did we lose Umbra? Oh. No, I'm He's... here. I have the significant other here watching this evening, and we are trying to find a way for her to listen. I don't have speakers. Um, just have her listen to, just have her watch the Twitch channel. I know. I might have to put on to push the talk so she can hear, so we can watch it. Well, she can watch it. And I'll just double hear everything. Oh, how'd everything go, Dodo, by the way? Uh, not yet. Uh, Spoilers. Chris, why do we have to just been busy with work. Well, once, uh, we, once we do the recap, I will, uh, what do let, you do for work? let you know why there's a there's a Trant in town. What did you do for work again, Dodo? It's power. I'm a work. level. Dude, you did a very good job of hiding this. Right. Like I didn't. Sit on me, man. This is you. 100%. I'll have to fill me in later. This something. entire area. Yeah, I didn't. You're not busy. I yeah, did I'll, I'll have, have to kind of fix some of this pathing over All here. Right. Oh my god! Um, I always wanted to learn. <laughs> how does this? How does this extension work, by the way? So do I just? So do you have your D and D Beyond sheet up? It is up. Okay, so what you do is you should see some highlighted numbers. Highlighted numbers where? On your D and D Beyond sheet. I do not. Uh, did you turn your extension on? Probably not. Did you restart Tailspire? I did. Okay. Um, may just have to restart your browser. It would say, are your numbers blue by chance, or? Yeah, they'll be like blue, highlighted blue. Restart the browser. Beyond. Yeah, dude, those floors oh, now they are, yes, are they crazy started. stupid. Yeah, the only thing I had to redo is kind of like this area here. All right, so if your numbers are blue, you just click on the the blue button. So if you need to uh, roll initiative, um, so you uh, that that was accidentally turned on. Uh, you open in Tailspire and it pulls it up. Oh, Do that. So if you need to roll an insight check, it'd be a one d. I have a d twenty plus five with Optimus here. That's it. In. I don't know why my dice rolling is turned on. How's it supposed to activate in the thing? Because I click on the blue. Uh, and then it... You'll get a pop-up that says, do you want to allow this? Oh, okay. And then I click open Tailspire U Relay? Yep. You can click a little check mark to always allow it. Oh, there you go. Nah, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just going to fucking roll with it. It's okay. Does that work for Carl, too? It should work with any D and D Beyond sheet you have up, but he, your guys are just getting a, a straight D twenty rolls. Um, let me pull up Eric's sheet in case I need to reference something. All right, um, Umber, you want to kind of get caught up what's going on in the world? All right, so just a recap of all the major events that have happened. Uh, we all got teleported here um, one day. None of us seem to know each other or know this land. Uh, we got sent to 
um, a little fortress out in the woods to investigate some dryads issues that were uh, informed to us by Pixie. Uh, we fought some gnolls there. Um, and then after that, we went back and we learned the name of the town, which is Dinkelberg. Um, we found news of goblins that were going to attack the town. So we informed our the former military men, uh, Mr. Burpy Gurky. Not, well, Mr. Gurky, my bad. Um, and he set up some defenses. Uh, so, um, one of the groups went and they happened to find one goblin group eliminated. And the other ones were preparing to wage war against each other. We assisted in that war and pretty much everything died. I love Until, hearing this. Except for one or two guys. few goblins that were saved by a man named Shar. Uh, we, he said that he was going to be our new god. Uh, from that point, we went on a vacation. Uh, we also met the elves, who are members of the church in the capital. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we killed off the leader that was sided with the church, and now there is a new one who is not sided with the church. So that's the elves. And then, most recent adventures, we went to the Dwarven Outpost, that is outside the Dwarves' major city. Uh, there's some kind of infection going on through there that has closed down all in and outs of the Dwarven city. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That, that's pretty pretty good. Pretty good for people who don't take notes. <laughs> As a heads up, I have to uh, restart my... Uh... Yeah, it's vile. Okay, that's Let fine. No, I do take notes. <laughs> um, Umbra, what have you been doing this past week? Uh, this past week, I have been studying incantations and things, just magical workings in general. Uh, on anything specific? Um, mostly just um, just theories of golems. Okay, give me an intelligence roll. Got this nifty new, uh... Eleven. Okay. Uh, while well, Umbra's getting restarted, um... Or Uru's getting restarted. Um, we have, uh, Eric, who needs to get caught up, because he's just been taking a vacation the past few weeks. So, <laughs> um, and something else, uh, with the dwarves, and... Is that they're rebuilding their outpost? Uh, if you spend your downtime doing that, it's twenty five dollars or twenty five gold, not twenty five dollars, twenty five gold pieces. Uh, you don't have to do anything, you don't have to roll anything. It's just you spend your, you know, you travel up there, you spend a week helping them out, you come back, you go and go back up there. So uh, there's that. There's pit fighting uh, to earn money. There's all kinds of things. What what has Eric mm -hmm. been up to the past few weeks? Uh, I wanted to do pit fighting. Okay. Um, so that is going to be a D20 plus strength. Yep, I cannot roll or do anything at the moment. Okay, hang on. Let me see uh, about fixing that. Da -da 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 -da. DM tools, player permission, Jesse set up. Let me resummon you to the board. Uh, hit the space bar. Yep, got it. Do you see the dice now? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so, okay. d20 plus your strength. d20 and my strength is... Plus five. Uh, nope, that's strength saving throws. Okay. Your, your strength would be a plus three. Alright, plus three, got it. So that's I just alt tab back in and roll a five, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> Uh, so that's an 8. Uh, then 7 plus 5 is 11, so I win that one. I actually rolled terrible for that. Um, your con modifier is next. Alright, so con, we go in and... That's saving throws. So where am I supposed to be looking for so this right, stuff? Right again? above the saving throws, the big numbers okay. across the top. So plus 2. Yep. And that's a d20 plus 2. Yep. 21. Nice. Er, tw 
Yeah. 2d10 plus 5. 17. So there's 50 gold for you so far. Uh, and now okay. dexterity. That's plus 2. So d20 plus 2. That one! Three. Uh, I don't even have to roll, because I beat it with the plus five that I get anyways. Uh, but you did get 50 gold for the first week. Okay. Um, and I'm doing two weeks, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay, so that will put me at... Let's go into inventory gold. So I'll have 201 gold. Uh, I wanted to see about acquiring, like, maybe some a magic weapon. Uh, there would be none here in town. You can't do that during your, uh, your downtime. Okay. Uh, you can hire a merchant to go... In the downtime activities, there's one to actually hire someone to go fetch and try to find one. Sure. I can't remember... But it, it takes a couple weeks for them to be able to find it and come back. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go help the dwarves. And how much was that? Uh, it's twenty-five. You don't roll anything, you automatically get it. Okay, so I spend twenty-five. No, you get twenty-five. Okay. Yep. yep I'll do that then. Okay. Oh, misunderstanding. So that puts me at two hundred and twenty-six gold. Nice. Make a note of you helping the dwarves. Because their, their board will change the more you guys help, and you just kind of build standing with them. I do want to ask you about that. Can we help in alternative ways, like uh, if make like supplying them with money or resources, or does it actually, actually have to be like a week of our downtime helping them? A uh, week of downtime. I mean, if you want to give them stuff and whatnot, sure. But to like get gold... You know, as a downtime, you know, job, it's just the 25. All right, so it's just only for the work. Okay. Yes. Just... I mean, yeah, if you want to, you know, um, donate gold, donate whatever to them, you know, sure. Um, that wouldn't be an issue. We could go and, and that, you know, they would be more favorable to Alright, well, I guess it's technically my turn now. I'm yes, back. if you're back. Alright, uh, if I'm correct, I'm like on week two of my whole um, mushroom farm construction. Yeah, I was waiting for you to send that back to me. Okay, um, I'll make sure I do that, but... Because uh, I, I, I sent you... So, I sent you a huge area. Um, a pretty much almost that entire rectangular cube area, so... Uh, I had to do that with the uh, AA as well. I did basically send him his section so that he could build his stuff in it. Well, I misunderstood that. I thought that was just for future reference, but I'll make sure I take care of that tonight. But, um, if that's the case, then, uh, I I'm going to start getting some preparation ready for that advance, so I'm going to spend my week, I'm going to say, um, uh, with your approval, using my survival skill to look for, uh, mushrooms i can start you know getting the spores from and all that okay uh give me a survival roll right, this is always a frightening part one two three <laughs> okay i mean you spend better part of the week um i will come up with a couple different types of mushrooms and maybe effects and stuff like that but for now these are just generic you know eating mushrooms that you right. find they're, they're pretty common with the 10 roll uh do you find five of them five common mushrooms all right more else my do, favorite <laughs> in regards to those mushrooms i found can i just also use my week at the same time just to like just get like mushroom spores from them and whatnot uh yeah you're able to you know get them and transplant them into your mushroom garden. I would go more like saying for jars first and then get for later, but... If that's what you want to do, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I I, I figure it just makes more sense to just wait for it. The, the, the garden to be done first before I... Baby, I want to see your nails. 
Rachel went with her mom and sisters for her mom's birthday and had her nails done and did a whole Manny Petty thing. And Rachel does not do that, so I I want to <laughs> see. I mean, she's going to turn around and get them dirty tomorrow when she sticks them in potting soil because she's more handy than I am. Ooh. Oh, ah, how's your toes feel? How did it feel having other feel people? Feel my feet. Wow. Wow. Do, do they stink still? I don't know. Smell them. Here. Wow, they don't. You're, I can't remember last time. Here, stick one in my smell fancy? Stick a toe in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I gotta go, guys. It's fun playing with all you. Right, I, I freaked some of them out with that. Yeah, it's been nice. Uh, Y'all have a good day? Yeah, they, they all quit. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll, I'll get those later. Um. All right. Um. So, you guys noticed that there is a treant. Um, that you would have ran into when you're helping out the Fae. Uh, he's kind of hanging outside. Um, but give me perception checks. Uh, everybody can give me one. Plus oh. one. 18 from Uvu. Nice. Nat 20 plus nice. one. Nice. Wow. 18. Get using those good rolls early. Yeah, no um, shit. You guys, <laughs> uh, as you're kind of, you know, congregating about the, the town here, you notice you can't find anybody. Bro, bro. Uh, the tree ends outside the, the tavern doors, but you don't notice any townspeople anywhere. Uh, you may have to go looking for them. Uh, I need out of my basement, please. Oh, that's the door you're trying to open. I forgot to open it. I was just, I'm trying to remember just to open doors and stuff like that beforehand. Because so, I'm going to chuck your minis in your houses. So if you want, you could just put my mini next to that stone fence I made. Okay. Just to make it easy on all of us. Okay. Um, my character glitched below the board. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hang on. Let me save you. Uh, yeah, there's like How did no you... no. How did you glitch below your sex dungeon? I don't know. I'm Hang on, a magic let me man. Just... Oh, that there. I didn't want to see any updates to it. Nope, still the same thing. Thank you, sir. All right, but yeah, but there's like no note laying around, like not even in the tavern. Uh, when you go into the tavern there, Uru, since you're the first person to actually go over there, uh, you notice that they are all sitting around the table talking. Uh, you have not seen them have some type of group meeting um, of prior to this. You know, they've talked, you know, their normal amount to each other, but this is the first time you've noticed them, like, discussing issues with the town and stuff. Hang on, I've managed to F up my board. My goodness. Um, I, I see a paradox right now. And what you see is you also notice that Ethri is here. Uh, she, she is the fairy... Uh, who was here at the beginning of the game. Um, Eric, you should be able to move your character around. Mm -hmm. uh, so feel free to move him around the board. So, yeah. Now, do they react to me when I come into the room? Or um, are they just doing gross on the conversation to notice me right now? Uh, they see you, a couple of them on the far side. You notice that Gurky is finally awake after being basically in bed for two straight weeks. Um, and they are all talking, but, you know, they aren't, like, whispering or hiding anything, um, from you guys, uh, and they kind of notice, uh, you guys walk in. Hey, guys, uh, town meeting that we missed that no one thought to tell us about? Well, we weren't quite sure how to handle this. Um, Loki turns around and says this to you. Before you continue that statement... We say handle this. Is this a problem with us being here, or a oh. different kind of problem? No, no, no. This, this is. You guys have been helping out and been very helpful, and you know you've done some tasks and jobs for us. You know, and we are very appreciative. And you guys are very good company, and we are glad that you are here. Um, this has to do with the Fey, and Ethery turns around. Our leader has decided to go her own way and only me and one of the treants decided to leave the Fae 
as she has started worshipping Char. At that point, Boo clearly just groans and just puts a hand on his snout face and just... Ugh. And uh, Loki turn, Loki says to you guys, you know, that normally, you know, we wouldn't be bothered. We're pretty, you know, open people and, you know, we have a bunch of different, you know, types of people here and, you know, we all kind of get along. But with this growing, we heard what happened in Annabelle, the elvish place. Um, we know that the capital is on lockdown with no one getting in or out. We know that there's trouble in the north. And now this cult is on our doorstep and we're not sure what we should be doing. So we're trying to come up with a plan. Alright, so what plans have everyone discussed so far? Well, for and as soon as this, I do want to say this real quick to my companions. I think you guys are right. We may need to start our own cult, but maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, at three turn says to you guys, we have... We, there is someone from the church from Kinden that came in and met with our leader in private and after a few days she decided that she would start worshipping Char and I worship the nature there's and we we're turning our ways from that we just couldn't do anything I mean she just she's like we don't have power to overthrow and if we did we'd have to fight and kill everybody and that is not something that we are willing to do so we're debating on just moving here and townspeople are you know they're all kind of looking at you guys now and trying to figure out if they want to you know have you know you know welcome them in and what happens if someone from the church comes here um kind of how to deal with it because they're where Dinkelberg stands, it's kind of in the middle. It's you know, it's a crossroads to everywhere. So it's a good trade route. It is, yeah. It. Um, but I, I think I need to ask you this question then. Uh, has anyone have any dealings with the church people by chance beforehand? Uh, like but but yeah, besides us, because I'm curious. Like at this point, if we refuse them, we might as well. As we are, we're going to get slaughtered. They decided to send an army because it has heretics. And I'm in the boat right now saying, let them in for now and we should pretend to be on their side. And just go about a day until things get bad. Kind of look at you and say, I mean, we've, we, have, we have tried to not have any form of religion. You know, we kind of worship our own gods in our own way, but... You know, we don't, you know, try to force anybody, and now, you know, it's one step closer to being in our town. If someone comes from the church and demands anything, we don't know what those demands would be. And Ethry says, we were not told by our leader what those demands were. So they don't know. She doesn't know what... You know, to expect. Yeah, the the alternative. You know, if they don't join, what's going to happen? Um, yeah, I feel like we should go with the whole fake it until you make it kind of routine. At least until we know what was going on or we got something going. Because, again, no offense. Besides Gurgi there and with his almighty power, I don't really... And the Trent outside, we don't really have... But we can't really hold out if they decide to go violent. As much as I like to go out in the blaze of glory. Mm -hmm. I agree. We just have to play the game and on their turns for a little bit and just work against them. Just not as openly as much as that kills me on the inside just to admit. Because we have... And Loki says to you, and you know, we have, you know, what's going on in the south at uh, Kenden with all that going on, and um, she's like, Char is not 
one of our gods, but people are, you know, almost seem brainwashed by them. Um, you know, then in the north, north we have, you know, you've heard of Count Dragon, you know, switching to a different god and upsetting Dwarf, and now, you know, leaning and being on the side of, you know, the, the dragon, dragonborn and tieflings of Imshek. Now they've, you know, not always gotten along up there, but the fact that, you know, the gods are getting involved has us quite worried kind of being in the middle. So, as far as I see Shars is a very powerful man. I have yet to see any gods, even my own god. So, hard to say at the moment, and... Uh, yeah, look at my uh, uh, companions. Okay, do you guys have nothing to contribute? Or am I just doing all the talking here for right now? Because we're, we're really getting nowhere here. I just want some second opinions. So I'm, I'm gonna be real honest, man. I don't, I don't have anything to bring up in this. I was say I don't got any say in it. All right. Well, I guess at this point, uh. Besides, does this town have an official elder or someone everyone looks to, by chance? Turkey here would be our, you know, kind of our unannounced leader. I'd say Gurky's kind of got the lead. Yeah, I, I, I think it was at least good to check. But if that's the case, then, um... <sighs> well, it seems like we really all don't have a choice, and I figure... Uh, as soon as one, if any of them, come to town, we all keep an eye on Gurky at least here, just to make sure we, if someone starts having private talks, we can at least plan accordingly. Or we can just be yes and just go with one of us here as a substitute, a middleman, so to speak. And as as you say that, Gurky kind of steps up and says, uh, Helios is my god and never be another in my life. Uh, Heliodes is the same one that the dwarves were. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we put the same <laughs> together. So say, that is good, but I'm just saying when one comes to town, just let someone know that someone's trying to talk to you privately about the whole church stuff. Just so we can, you know, maybe eavesdrop. I think we can arrange that. They'll kind of like nod their head that, you know, um, you know, if any of the people come to church, they will send them to uh, Gurky. Then come and let you guys know. Besides that, I don't think any of us really have a better plan at the moment. No, not really. But we, so... we will cross that bridge when we get there. We just I... wanted to, you know, for us to get together and kind of go over things. I am going to say this now, if we do end up having to kill someone and we don't want anyone to know about it, uh, actually, hold on, that, uh, I, I, I adjusted the umbra to come to the, to the corner with me for a second to speak quietly. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, lizard man? Um, uh, that's all, that's a bit offensive. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, there's lizard folk out there, come on now. But, uh, how aware are the people are of your research? Nope, nobody knows of it, other than us. Okay, uh, I'll keep it quiet for now. Um, and I turn back around and go, Okay, uh, yeah, if there's any kind of trouble, we'll take care of that later on along the road. I had some bad information. Bad uh, gossip, rumors, and all that. Yeah, you know, Loki is... Ah, uh, alright, well, if you find out anything, just, just kind of keep us, you know, informed, and we're going to try to get uh, F3 and the, the Tron set up. Uh, with a uh, some place to live, then you hear Gazel from the corner. Ah, uh, they'll probably Ethri can sleep in one of the rooms here for free until uh, we get them set up. All right. All right. Is there anything else we need to know before we go off to do whatever the hell we're going to do today? No, I think that was uh kind of it for what was going on in the town. Okay. Hey, where were Thank you? Guys, where were you guys doing today? Uh, we're gonna go see the Lord's Manor. I think the Lord Dagon guy. Ah, uh, all right. Well, then uh, Gosel says, 
let them know if uh, let let us, let us know you know what he's thinking and what's going on because it's going to be a you know his choices will affect us. Oh, of course, and I we're kind of curious. At least I'm quite curious of why no one's allowed in and out of the dwarven town, the dwarven city. Well, that's a virus. Well, of course that, but I feel like you know no doctors coming in or you get the idea. By the way, uh, I, I guess if we're all good here, I guess uh, are we all done here? Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. I have to listen to what I need to listen to. Uh, do you guys need any supplies or anything? Uh, you're not making us pack food, so. Nope. Not really. Uh, actually, um, we technically don't have a healer with us, right? I think we Eric is a mm. paladin. No, Eric, yeah. Eric is a fighter. Yeah, oh. I'm a fighter. I need. I'm like out of potions, I believe. Yeah, I think we can probably, uh, let's see. Can we buy potions from these guys? Is there? Yeah, uh, Lo Lo them? Loki and uh, Nikos would be able to sell them to you for 50 gold each. Uh, I still have two potions of healing on me, so I can hold out a little bit longer. Not yet. Okay, I think, I think I'm going to talk to Loki count. and ask about buying uh, two potions. It'll put me at 126 gold. Okay, uh, yeah, they can... Go over this next door and get them for you. So yeah, you got two uh, two potions. It's, Loki, uh, they're two D four plus two when you when you need the heal. Uh, can I can I talk to Gazel? Gazel? Yeah, he's a uh, you know one of the bar bartenders there. Yeah. Hey, hey, Gazel, you got you got any leftover bottles from any empty brews you've been serving? I mean, I think we can get some. He you know turns and yells at Starless. Go see what we got in the back. And, uh... That and Starless goes in the back, and Starless is able to bring you... Give me a persuasion rule. So that's just a straight roll. What? <laughs> Four. <laughs> Go ahead and take one of those away. Uh, he, uh, Starless comes out and gives you, uh, two empty bottles. Perfect. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, you're welcome, good friend. Also, uh, Chris, qu quick question. Um, uh, apparently I have a mystery rune cloak of, with Arcana and Parentheses. I'm trying to remember where that was from. But do we have anyone in town that, well, besides our own party, that can, uh, look, do some, uh, Arcana stuff in regards to it? Um, I mean, after you saw what Gurky did, maybe he could. Alright. Hey, uh, Gurky, I know we're not on the right foot, but can you take a look at this cloak? I can't remember where I found it at. Uh, what was the cloak? I don't even remember what I gave you. I don't I just, it's a mystery room. It was cloak. with the goblins. The goblin cloak, I remember. What? That was like the last day I was here. Something about a death saving throw. I was say, wasn't it the cloak protection to some degree? Oh, it was. That's what it is. Uh, oh, okay. I should probably remove that then. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, as he kind of goes, you know, he's inspecting it. Ah, this is a uh, cloak of protection. I feel like that's a bit wow. uh, that, That's what it was. <laughs> uh, besides that, uh, I do have the wolf teeth and a large, low-quality wolf pal I can sell, if you don't mind, real quick. Uh, okay. Uh, give me a charisma check. Right, just that's just a flat twenty. I think that's a drop. It didn't even roll, but twelve. Okay. Um, Nikos and um uh, Loki, they will offer you your twelve. Uh, twenty-one gold for uh, all of it. Yeah. I, that they have it now. Okay. It's there. Uh, also, just a side note, did anything, did that orc ever come back to town for some reason, or no? What orc? Uh, when we were finding those grunges. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's it for me. I'm finished here, and... Mm -hmm. Um, so, whenever we go outside, I'm gonna take one of these bottles, and I'm just gonna smash it and start uh, making it into you know little little glass shards and pour it into my bag of sand okay oh okay I think I have an idea what you do I just don't remember the spell um 
Anything else? Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, I'm saving my money. Okay. Uh, switch boards here real, real quick. I'm going to say this. On the road to town, while we're waiting for the border switch to Umbra, yeah, I think at some point we really need to bring up the whole um, the research and death thing to people in town at some point. Because I'm not sure how people are going to react to a necromancer. They react well, fine. People love me. Eh, hit or miss. Who's your god again, uh, Dodo? Mm-hmm. Me. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right, we'll right back. Alright, so I'm the only, guy, only character with a god. Huh? And not one of the fewest gods either. I have, uh... Let me find it. Torm, god of courage and sacrifice. I had the kobold god of war in, my, in digging. And <laughs> digging? Had... Yeah, like digging. It. Come on, we're kobolds here. We live on the ground. Take a tunnel, take, take a tunnel. Take a tunnel, take, take a tunnel. Quick before the hyenas come, take. <laughs> uh, I would love to play as a, as a hyena right now in D&D. Or in Pathfinder, but... <laughs> How would you guys yeah, feel about doing some assassination well, missions and taking out some of the hands of the church? Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm done. Uh, we aren't able to go back to the capital yet, though, so... We'd have That's to find it. them on the road. Do we really want to make an enemy with the church right now? Yes. We won't make an enemy if nobody even finds out, right? Again, do you really Cobalt. try? <laughs> Cobalt Black Ops. We're going to send you over the wall and have you fucking slit some throats, bro. You fucking down or nah? <laughs> I need to know. Do I look like the most stealthiest person here? You just see me go a berserk. That's pretty hot. <laughs> Stop, please! I can only get so erect. Wow. Oh yeah, what did it? Uh, All right. Hey, Ned, yes. On this way, uh, does it pass nighttime at any point? Uh, it would be uh early evening. Like, uh, I haven't changed that part yet. I had to. Pee. Gotcha. Really bad. Just at uh, nighttime, uh, I would like to know. And the the sun the sun is set setting like uh, Uru does not have uh, any problems here. No problems. Oh my gosh, we're just so loud. Yep, it's going pretty slow. All right, uh, yeah, you guys have been up here before, so you knew how to get back, so with no issues. Um, yeah, was there a statue here? No. Oh. You guys had to walk. I know, I thought we, like, we got here, we saw the statue, but it was too late. I'm, uh, I'm still waiting on DM. Oh, my yeah. bad. There you go. Uh, no. Uh, you guys got, you guys found this place, then got teleported back. Pretty much as yeah, soon that's... as we saw it, we fucking vanished. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I... I'm so, loving what he's done with the place. <laughs> so it's essentially, all right, so I'm going to just get on walking. So I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm going to make the board a little bit brighter. Um, I'm going to take a turn into oh, this. Oh, God, it's too bright now. Sorry, I, I just want people to be able to see, because if not, it's just a dark. Oh, no, I'm, I was BSing character-wise. I'm going to, I'm going to turn into this little grave uh, area on the left here. These are this is like a grave, right? Like yeah. So you guys, as you start approaching, you can see that there are two very large grave sites on both sides. Um, there appears to be some type of mausoleum on the left and like a hedgerow on the right. Uh, then you see this big Gothic style. Yeah, my screen is. Mansion manor. Yeah, my screen is so dark. Uh -oh. hey, uh, there um, we but go. don't don't wander off. We still need. Let's not try and make enemies yet by digging up the ancestors or something. Uh, and you see this big uh, mansion up these stairs. Say we go say hello. Um, I would like to... Oh, yeah, do I have that spell? Shit, I don't know if I should do. I don't. Never mind. Okay. Um, is there anything... Can I roll a perception check to see if there's anything weird about these... Tombs. Sure. Okay. 
I look over to Eric. If he starts digging, just, just let's try and stop him. <laughs> he starts digging. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Please? Oh, there we go. 17. Uh, you know, you get to looking around and you don't, you know, it's a typical graveyard. Some of the graves are fresher than others, but, uh, I mean, it, it's been like a year or so, at least for some of these graves. Then I'm gonna... Only a year. Yeah. Pretty fresh. That's pretty, that's pretty good. All right. Boys, shall we approach? Hi. You're, you're the master of the dead. I'm gonna let you take point. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you know exactly what that means, Necro. Are we really expecting to see a vampire or a bunch of zombies here? Holy Breath shit! Are these when we walk up? We went past them? Yeah. That's sick as hell. Oh, whoa! <laughs> In the door. Uh, I got pre um, I got pretty close. Some of them are on death perceptions yeah, off because I didn't. That was that was really well done. Mm -hmm. I forgot to shift. Thank you. All right. All right. Can one of you guys grab the knock? Actually, no. I I'm just gonna knock now. <laughs> can we can we lift up the cobalt so we can use the knocker? <laughs> These are very them. big doors. <laughs> Look, you don't need to pick me up. I take my I take my sword and I use the the pommel of my sword. Just bum bum bum. See, I don't need you guys to lift me up and patronize me. Okay. You scratch the door, man. It's a door. Yeah, it's a really nice door. So, so he he knocked really fucking hard with the bun of his thing. I hear. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it, oh, I was in build mode. <laughs> I wasn't working. Oh, it just opens. Whoa, outwards too. Yeah. I hate these doors. They always open outwards. Yeah, I know. Uh, not if you rotate them. I just don't have them rotated correctly. I can never get them right. Whoa. Oh. I, I have issues, too. Ah. Uh, can I uh, do you folks for this? Uh, basically, a, li a little old lady, you know, opens the door. She is just adorable. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We're here to speak with the, uh, the lord of the house. Uh, come inside and wait here for a second. Let me see if he is... Done with his previous guest. Tally ho. I do want to whisper to the guys once we're alone. I'll wait since he has something to say. Um, just wait here. Try not to touch anything. Uh, as you guys walk in, it is very nice. This is probably the nicest building that you guys have been in so far. Uh, I am missing a set of stairs for whatever reason. Let's go ahead and just build those stairs real quick. <laughs> This mansion's so nice, it built itself. <laughs> yeah, it just built oh, itself. God. <laughs> um, it's definitely two floors. It's all carpeted. Uh, and, you know, you can see beyond her, it looks like a kitchen area in the back. Um, and she, you know, just kind of walks down this way. There's nice regal paintings of landscaping and a cool night-looking thing. And uh, so two things. One, this place looks awful. I mean, who puts carpet in a nice stone, stone place? And uh, two, let's hope this guy doesn't have experience with adventurers. If he does, we're not adventurers. We're uh, let, let's get our story straight. Uh, what would menaces. we be? Menaces, travel, traveling menaces. Menaces. Oh, uh, uh, carnival. <laughs> Uh, be the bearded lady. And you see two women, you know, one one was the lady who opened the door, and she kind of walks back and uh, closes, you know, the pantry door behind her. Uh, and you see a, 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 a human woman walking out. She's in her, you know, 30s, 40s. Ah, my name is Countess Adana Dragon. I hear that you're here to speak with my husband. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're curious. We're trying to get lay of the land, and uh, I guess mainly get an idea of what's going on with the dwarves further up north. Hmm. Well, he is in a meeting with Countess Lilith of Emshek right now, discussing that very matter. 
Kim Shack. Was that really the name of the? I haven't heard it, the name yet. Yeah, uh, Mshek is the name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mshek is the name of uh, Dragonland. When did we hear about Dragonland? At the beginning of the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is like yeah, it was it brief mentioned. It was, yeah, it was briefly mentioned as you know, you know, they kind of told you where different cities were. Then later on, you were told the actual name of it. Gotcha. Okay. Like last um, week. Well, I think that would at least expedite some things. Um, uh, Andy Kelsey, is there anything you tell us about your husband that we need to be aware of, by chance? No, he's just trying to find his way in this world. As are we. And you hear the door shut behind you. I was say ghost, man. <laughs> Wait, the door just shut behind us? Yep. Yeah. Um, look at... Wait, didn't neither one of you guys close the door when we came in? No. Mm, big doors. Uh, it's, hey, we, it's, okay, we have bad manners. I'm going to speak to Adana real fast. Uh, do you mind if I ask um, why you have graveyards in your front lawn rather than at a separate location from the mansion? Uh, this house has been in our family's generation, fan or in our possession for many generations. It had once been... You know, just a small little, small little house um, outside of the graveyard, and we decided to uh, just keep expanding on it. And we have added a whole other wing in our 20 years of rule. Wonderful. So those graves have no relation to your family? No, they are a graveside from the surrounding countryside. They, they were. It was here. Uh, before us, you know, some of the locals, you know, have used it um, over the past, you know, handful of years. But for the most part, people are buried in their own towns. Wunderbar. Um, should should we wait here, or is there a better place for us to wait until he's out of his meeting? Kind of looks around. looking around hmm <laughs> let me go see how much longer he will be just wait here a moment Eve. all these rooms and they ain't gotta wait for you on, she you goes, she goes back guests? down i mean do you really think they have that many guests with this cemetery back out front hell yes i do <laughs> uh, I, yeah I, I, actually I, that is a very good good idea while they're away, can we try uh, try to open the door just in case? Yeah. Can we can we open the door? All right, click on it. All right. Uh, this the one we came through. Oh, beautiful! All right, I'd like to close the door. I'd like to close the door. <laughs> <laughs> they come back. We're just opening and closing a door. <laughs> mm, breezy through here today. Uh, as, uh, Count Dragon and his wife come back down the hallway. Huh. Uh, they're followed by a woman in, uh, a purple armor, purple and reddish armor. It's got dragon scales on it. It's got dragon markings on it. Uh, and Dragon says to you guys, Ah, uh, I hear you would like to have a word with me. Where do you where do you reside? We're new and which town? Oh shit! What was it? Dinkelberg. Dinkelberg. Yeah. Mm. That is kind of a gray area, but I don't see why we not be able to discuss things if you have concerns. Uh, so actually, uh, just a week ago, we were visiting outside of the dwarven. Uh, kingdom, which you, of course, know, sir. Yes. Uh, and there was a massive beast, a fire um, dragon that f was headed this way, and we were kind of concerned trying to check on your own well-being. Uh, that was Count Countess Lilith. Oh. oh. See, well, that doesn't surprise me. I, I'm used to this kind of... Uh, Semi-used to it, but... Oh, shit. Should we have... 
Should we bow? We should bow. I, yeah, I, I, as I see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not bowing. They are a hot I'm mess. Sure I love zero it. Respect. Um, I would like to bow my head. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it would just right now crosses his arms, just. But. Eric, what are you doing? He, I think. I'm bowing. Okay. And <laughs> I got Punch Uru to try to make him bow. You're going to get down pretty low. <laughs> Give me an athletics check. Damn near a okay. nutshot. <laughs> what's, what's athletics here? Let's... It's the uh, fourth <sighs> one down. It's strength. Strength? Uh, strength with proficiency, so it's a plus five for you. Okay. You don't have to worry about all tab. Outside. All right, so 21. <laughs> uh, yeah, you... As you bow down, you punch Uru in the stomach. Uh, Uru, uh, did, does that make you bow? Uh, I would say, can I make a constitution saving roll just to see if I can? <laughs> yes, you certainly can. No respect. No respect. Oh. Oh, yeah. I, I think it was like. I think it's obvious because he did hit me that it's like. Mm, like that kind of bow down. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh. The, the dragons start chuckling and laughing at you. There's no need for that around here. King Urus is the only one you guys should really be bowing to. Us, we're just, you know, simpletons compared to our king. And he is the king, and Kendon. Ah. I, I do want to get some clarification on that, if you don't mind. Yes. And this might be out of character. This might be just me having bad information in my head right now. But if I understand it correctly, you're sort of preventing people from coming and going from the Dwarven Kingdom, right? Yes, there's been an outbreak of a disease, and we're trying to... It is very terrible, we're trying to keep the spread from uh, oh. scattering across the lands. That's the thing that concerns me. It's just, is this a joint cooperative kind of endeavor between you and them? Us like, I'm just trying to get an idea where your authority begins and ends in regard to, regards to that. With the L, with the dwarves, yes, I am. They have their own leader, and it's been shaky at times. We have had our troubles with each other, but, you know, they are below me, and I am below the king up here in the north. Question, what race is he? Is he human? Yeah, he's human. They're both human. Okay. Wait, so you're saying the dwarves more or less serve or follow your guidance and you follow the king's guidance in kingdom yes so, it's, my... so it's king king euros is the leader is the is the ruler of all of Dryda, which is the country you guys are in um then he's got uh counts underneath him then those counts have uh city leaders except for um, Dinkelberg, which is kind of like in the center, so there's no like direct ruler. I said King Eurus. Eurus. E U R A S. E U R A S. Your ass. Okay. Yeah, your ass. Piss him off, and it's your ass. Uh, fuck. Hmm. Oh. All right. So pretty much, the door of a kingdom is not really a kingdom. It's more just a. Uh, I want to say duchy or providence under the... Y under you know, me. Yeah, under your... Alright, so you're more the duchy. You're the dutch. Uh, uh. Yes. Alright. Um, we, you know, they have tried to... In the past, their... The dwarves have tried to break free and rule on their own, but any type of rebellion like that has been put down. We have had our quarrels, but... Um recently, but it has never escalated to combat. That's, well, I think... It really looks really cool in the, in the sun, I do want to ask if it would be possible at all to get special access to the Dwarven Province region so we could possibly help alleviate this, vi this plague or at least speak to a middle person that I can that we can work with? Mm. He turns to uh, Lilith. Please wait for us at the dinner table. She 
you know, she kind of, she bows to him. And, you know, in acceptance. And she doesn't say anything to you guys. She is clad in an armor and she clanks down the hallway. I look back to my companions. Okay, guys. That's either good or bad. I'm not sure yet. And he turns, and, uh, Dragon turns back to you guys. Come, come to my study. I... Howdy ho! Alright, that's, okay, that's good. The door shuts, the lights dim. And as you guys <laughs> make your way out. down the dark hallway and enter his study... I have, uh, something here, so give me a second. Love the barrel rug. Uh, you guys see a statue on a pedestal mm. to your left. This is the same type of statue that has been teleporting you guys around. Uh oh. Don't touch it. Ah, uh, come have a come have a seat with us. <laughs> Let's enjoy this nice cozy fire that the devs provided us. We we don't mean to interrupt your meal if you are having dinner. We can come back another time. It is it is still being prepared. We have some time to discuss things. All right. I obviously going to take the floor cushion. <laughs> Good boy. Oh yeah, you guys are sitting on pillows, dude. Be careful. Uh, I can't jump from here uh, and start gouging your eyes out. Uh, you see, you know, you know, nice decorative plants. You know, nice roaring fires. Good skulls everywhere. Skulls like everywhere. Um, I use. A, I really can't do anything about those skulls. I, didn't I place know. Them there. I know. Uh, um, what do you guys see skulls at? On the bookshelves. On bookshelves. Oh. Because there's. That's just how they come. Uh, you see two big portraits <clears throat> of, uh, the count and countess dragon. Those are not. What is on there is not them. So don't think too much mm -hmm. into it. I just don't have anything else. <laughs> you know, it's, you know, it's it's all dimly lit. Yeah, they're not vampires, but it looks cool. So, oh yeah, it, it definitely was ninety percent sure this guy was a vampire. I but, noticed um... the map with the font. <laughs> yeah, I would say if I was playing a different character, I would ask about the art style of the paintings, but I won't. Um, uh... Yeah, and there seems to uh, be almost like a war table set up as well. So, so this is a lovely home you have here, sir. Um, I'm definitely fascinated in that piece you have over in the side of the room, the statue. Uh, uh, hang on, where to go? Ah, oh, yes, that is a uh, statue of Atheros. Rathrios. Atheros. The, the goddess of passage. Hmm. Must be a popular figurehead around here. We see a lot of uh, a lot of statues in her honor. We have seen some in some villages and towns. We do not know too much about Atheros. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... Can I do a religion check to see if I know anything about that god? Yep. Cool. I, I do want to ask. Um... Uh, 22. Oh. Go ahead, Uru. I, I am curious, uh, why the private discussion after my question? Hang on, what? Say that again? Why the private discussion after my question? Or request, really? Oh, it's, uh, I wanted to get to know you guys. I have not seen you, and you came from Dinkelberg, so... Uh, they are a highly respected village. So if you came from there and you're residing there, then must be decent folk. Uh, I think at that point of the word decent, I think all three of us give each other the eye within reason. We're <laughs> 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 not like really decent. The secretive, secretive eye. And with, um, you know, being from Dinkelberg, like I said, it is a gray area. No one, there is Centuries ago, there has been battles over those lands. Um, you know, many ruins still exist. Uh, there's even rumors of uh, ruins underneath Dinkelberg itself. Dinkelberg itself, but no one's been able to find anything like. That. Um, 
there has been so it's you know you know the king really doesn't rule it in the south and uh the counts don't really rule it in the north going back to uh i think it's athreos but um da -da 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 -da. You would know with your really high roll. I have a plus six on religion. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Uh, it's basically a... Um, let's see if it's a... Uh, basically a god of passage. Um, uh, ferries the dead across the Tartis, Tartix River. Um, uh, conveying each mortal soul to its destiny in the underworld... Uh, it's basically a, what is it, a Hades? Um, yeah, as soon as you said Tartarus, I knew it, what you meant. Oh, based off the river sticks, yeah. Um, the river guide reads uh, reads the truth of each soul and bears it unfailingly uh, to its proper place in the underworld. There is no haggling, no sympathy on Ethereo's skiff. Um, heard and denied every conceivable mortal plea. Uh, it's, a, it's a, you know, dark cloaked figure. Hmm. Jesus. Are, Are we, we dead? Not... You ain't dead <laughs> yet. Some serious shit going on here. Did we die and come to this world? <laughs> um, you know And this is hell. <laughs> you 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 would have you would have learned from, you know, just the the world books that you've you know you've been reading in your downtime and you know, travelers going through the town. Um, you know, most funeral you know, funerals have a small offering to this god of death. Um, uh, there is, you know, feasts in its honor. Um, let's see okay. here. What else can I give you with that role? Um, you're like, here's the book. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, I'm just pulling some stuff from, from oh, the, the Theros book with your, um, let's see here. Okay, here we go. This is, um, Beyond. you, uh, Athreos likes... Um, you know, providing coins and overseeing burial rites for those slain during a tragedy, uh, ensuring that the deeds and knowledge of someone who has died are preserved, slaying a returned and its associated Eidolon, uh, so zombies, um, does not like, did not, the god does not like denying a dying person their final rights, removing wealth from a corpse, or defiling a tomb. Aiding those who seek to escape from the underworld or who already have. So he's not a big fan of grave robbery. I mean, yeah. where would he do that yeah. after the people be killed? <laughs> Question. Whenever you steal bodies from a grave, is that grave robbery? Yeah. Yes. But she likes zombies. No. Uh, she, or he, <clears throat> uh, likes people slaying them. Oh. <laughs> likes likes oh, people slaying shit. zombies and the slaying the people who summon the zombies. Oh, I'm not telling them that part. Um, yeah, <laughs> by the way, Chad, he's a necromancer. Neato. Uh, so yeah, that's what you would know from uh, Athreos. That's wonderful. Um, and the statues ask, are uh, related, to, you know, is statues in honor of Athreos. Okay, so Athreos, that's good to know. So, you said you wanted to get to know us by chance? Oh, uh, yes, like I said, um, the pink people from Dinkelberg, you know, they, they keep everybody in check. They, you know, they, they keep the goods flowing, they keep, you know, wars from happening... Hi. Hi. Right, so, I guess, what do you want to know about us exactly? I want to know where you guys came from. To be honest, sir, I don't quite remember where I came from. I know where I came from. Well, with the GM's permission, I know where I came from. Yeah, say it. I'm from a nomadic group, to be precise. Nice underground nomadic of cave tunnels, just like other kobolds. 
Well, okay. more or less. Better come up with a good lie, Yak. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, no. I'm sorry. That was the thought. <laughs> I didn't know I said it. Yeah, and I know I've run down here somewhere, but. Yeah, I. No, one. I thought I picked a specific Outlander background, but. But yes. I travel the caves with my. With my own tribe. Until one day I woke up here with these two. Hmm. Okay. He, he's kind of like, you know, hesitant to uh, trust you guys based off of your very vague answers. Um, I mean, like, uh, how more in depth can I get about it? I mean, like, a tribe of wandering kobolds. Would you like to join us for dinner? We'll be eating dinner with the, uh, the Countess of Emshak. I I think we'd love to. Oh yeah, at least it's better than trail rations and all that. Well, come, we have plenty. And uh, they make their way back down the hallway. Really quick, while they're moving, I want to eyeball this table really quick and see if I can get any information. Give me an investigation check. Okay, let me investigation. Sure, plan. Uh, zero for you, so just a straight d20. Okay. Straight D20, let's hope. Let's go, baby. Not 20, no. Oh, it's still so pretty, pretty solid. Um, you kind of, you know, as they start walking away, you take a few steps over and get a good glance at this table. Um, it doesn't look like they're, you know, with, with your background, it doesn't look like it's a full-blown, like, invasion table. But, you mm -hmm. know, there's, you know, there's markings where... Uh, the capital is. There's markings of, you know, where Lazada is, which is the main city for the dwarves. Uh, and then, you know, there's kind of a border drawn kind of through the center. But it doesn't look like anything nefarious or doesn't look like any military plan. It's more just kind of keeping track of what's going on in the world. Okay. I'm and satisfied. Are we following directly behind them or are we... You guys can they... kind of be slow to do that. Okay, I'm gonna kind of inspect this statue, maybe give it a little touch. You're touching the statue? I'm touching the statue. You're gone. As the purple oh. swirls around you. Okay. Better touch the statue again, brother, or hurry back the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, question, does it teleport me back to Dingleberg, or is it so yeah. random? Oh, okay, good. Um... <laughs> And it's nighttime, right? Like, uh, it will be here in a second. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna flump back. You don't. Oh shit! Did did we notice him touching it? Uh, Uru, give me an investigate or give me a perception check. Oh god, that's just. <laughs> All right, it's just we're inside. I don't have to worry about the whole light since. Uh, 13. Uh, you would notice that, uh, yeah, he's gone. You don't uh, know why or where, but <laughs> he's gone. Yeah, I know there's the whole light in the portal, right? No, there's no light. He just touched it and he was gone. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Yeah, there was no purple glow or anything like that. And like, right now, he can't return back to us right now. He, you don't know yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, should we approach the table? Well, we have to, but rude not to. Then I don't want to have more dry biscuits. I'm gonna sit over on the side oh, as we no. climb over the table twice. Uh, as you guys walk into this main room and, um. This main dining hall area. You see a couple of the servants, you know, you know, preparing food, and you know, it looks pretty good. Um, oh God, I hate this right now. I'm going. <laughs> you know why? When you boost a seat. <laughs> <laughs> Can uh, what 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 armor am I wearing? Uh, I don't even you... remember. Uh, you, you got you have chainmail. I can't even do nothing. I was going to give you my helmet, but I don't even have a helmet. 
<laughs> you can still have a helmet. The chainmail is just... Yeah, you can still have a helmet. The cha It's just part of the AC. You don't get any benefits unless it's a magical item. Yeah, I'd like to it... take off my helmet and set it on the chair as like a booster seat for him. Yeah, but either way, yeah, it's like you can still have like a skull cap or something. It's like, this is more like giving you the general idea of what it is. Anything beyond that is just thematics. Like a steel helm, I guess. Yeah. There's a, a bard that kind of comes out and kind of sitting in a corner, uh, you know, playing playing something gentle. Ah, uh, so, and you're sitting across uh, the table from the Countess. So, uh, I think we have some issues to discuss. Hi. We have, Probably uh, do some of the best. I'm, I'm in a jam, and you can see the eyes of uh, Lilith, like, almost start to anger. Like, she's keeping her composure, but you can see it with, you know, with her helmet style. You can see her eyes, and she looks furious right now. I just had curiosity, uh, he did say that the dragon was named Lilith, right? Uh, the dragon would have, you know, been part of Lilith. Lilith has a dragon. Oh, I thought she was a shapeshifter. Okay. Anyway, go, go on. Uh, I have, uh, fallen on confusing times, and now that you guys are here, and you guys are from Dinkleburg, I would gladly take your, um, Input and advice. Before we give mm -hmm. our advice, I do want to ask why I get why you believe people from Tinkerberg that were neutral third party in matters, but why not advice from someone else or someone else you trust as? If you come from Dinkleberg and you are living there, that is good enough for me. I'm assuming that's where your friend is right now. Wait. I, I... Where did he go? <laughs> I don't know, right? Uh, like, I like mean, you know, you have no idea where he's at. You just know that he's not there. That Umbra is not there. And, uh... Uh, but the Count knows what had happened. Would you like for him? Would you like for him to return? I, that'd be uh, beneficial. <laughs> I think oh. at this point, it was clearly flabbergasted, but suspicious at the same time. Mm -hmm. And he kind of just snaps his fingers, uh, and as Umbra is frantically just trying to figure out what's going on with the statue, what? we can't have a moment of just of that going on. Just his reaction. <laughs> uh. You are you're you're you are teleported back. There is no purple glow. There is no purple glow in Dinkelberg. Just I reappear here, or where am I at? Oh, I'm at the statue. Okay. Yeah, you're back at the statue. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, can I touch it again? <laughs> if you want to. No, I'm not gonna touch it again. Um, instead, I'm going to quickly, I'm just going to kind of fast pace walk to the dining room, <laughs> just like, oh shit, I hope I didn't miss dinner. <laughs> uh, as you're doing that, I look over at Eric, is he walking down the hallway right now? I nod, I nod, and eyeballs big as fucking donuts. <laughs> Either way, by the way, you have, okay, two things. One, I just realized how good your face looks without the helmet, so good oh, for damn. you. <laughs> and two, how many wizards are in this damn country? Hi everyone, sorry. <laughs> mm. Um sir, that is a fantastic statue you have there. Um I... <laughs> It is. Did I miss dinner? <laughs> you did not. Perfect. I I'm gonna go take a seat next to them just awkwardly walking, just like <laughs> As I get there, I'm going to turn to him and I'm going to whisper, Don't touch the fucking statue! <laughs> I'd like to give him a dirty look. <laughs> kind of like, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> I'm moving away from 
what's going up with there? Uh, uh, so, again, that doesn't answer my question about other people from other parts. What was your question? I was distracted by stupidity. Again, ignoring that, uh, why... How come you don't trust those people as well? Trust who? Like, out, people well, outside I'm... of Dinkelberg? Yes. Because they come from a lineage of heroes. Some the even people... say they're descendants of God themselves. The people from Dinkelberg? Yes. So, heroes are from Dinkelberg, and everyone else is just, more or less, just average folk. Well, not entirely. They're not, less, they are not, not all of them would have any great powers or anything like that. They could just be simple folk as well. It does not, it is not passed down, but they are part of that lineage of great heroes. So let's, let's hear what, uh, what issue you're struggling with, Countess, if you don't mind me asking. Uh, which Countess? Or, or... Oh, sorry, Countess Lilith, right? That was the one that was saying it? No, it's yeah, Count, think... Count Dragon was oh. talking. Oh, okay. Wait, isn't he supposed to be Duke? No, he's a Count. Oh, Tony, this is not real world. He's a Count. You're talking to a history person. Come on now. Oh, that's um, your own fault. We don't live uh, in that history. Uh, your history is flawed. Uh, no, be... Count Dragon's talking to you. You guys see Countess okay. Lilith uh, just get increasingly angrier. Uh, is it, is it he, who she's looking at that she's angry at? At, at, at Count Dragon. Alright. Um. As he starts, he's weighing his options of um if he should continue switching to a different religion as he had been worshipping Heliod then once he changed uh, Lazada came under this disease and now is being ravaged. Hmm. Um, Lilith said, you turns and angrily says to him, um, you had struck a deal with us to worship e uh, Erebos and that is their main god that they worship. Erebos. Dragon gods is being going. And she, he turns to her. Um, we have nothing in writing. I owe you nothing. Um, he um, is is wanting to know if what you guys think, in your opinion, being from Dinkelberg. Well. I guess I'll go first with my advice. Personally, I have my own god where I come from. Uh, give me a second. Thibro died his goddamn name somewhere. Pull out a pamphlet and just be like, see, this is my <laughs> a leaflet. That's what it is, a leaflet. <laughs> yeah, my, I'm going to butcher the name here, but where I come from, my god name is Kut Kutink Kutinka. Again, <laughs> out of character, I'll probably butcher that like hell. And he says, and he says, the Count Dragon says to you, that is not a god that is worshipped here in these lands. I know. Again, it's more of a kobold god, so to speak. Hmm. We don't have too many of them civilizations around here. There are some in the uh, northern countries. Oh. Again, that would be a different time, but personally, eh, my god is... Technically, trap in a maze is is bought from the because of the cold because of the no of the of the gnome god where I come from. So there's conflict there, but either way, I'm sort of less more or less free of that kind of burden. And but honestly, I think you should go with what feels right. And, and more important, what what and he he just completely just cuts you off. And what about you, Knight? As he looks at you, Eric. I believe individuals should be able to worship whoever they feel. I know that the gods walk among us. And I know that switching between gods is a sin. Uh, Says you. And he 
A necromancer. What uh? What do you have to say? He doesn't know that. How do you know? How would he know? I think we're all going to ask that question now. If, if I'm yeah, being honest, I'm, like... I'm going to turn to him and be like, "What did you call me?" <laughs> That's a pretty big assumption, it's right there. More, more of a more of a questioning, not so much an intimidation, but more of like a what? What? What did you call me? You know, I just you know. I have yeah. known for some time that Dingleberg. Uh had a necromancer. Do you not think I don't know what goes on in these lands? Oh, we, we at least... To be honest, I at least imagine you have your eyes elsewhere. I mean, I watched what a bunch of mean? your... I watched a bunch of your friends slaughter <laughs> some of my good friends that were goblins. Oh god, not that again. Oh god. I, I clearly just turn my head down and just put a hand like... Wait, no, 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 Kobo, we don't know that. We we were told that they were assassinated. I watched your friends murder them in their sleep. Oh! But I think he has us by, I think as some perverted human once said, by the balls. Well, well, hang on, this is out of character. Uh, Try. we don't know that they assassinated them because we were told that they were dead when our guys arrived. I thought they killed them. No, 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 no. We joined because there was a friendly group that we were told was assassinated. Yes. Because... No, the the other group told your characters that the they were assassinated. Uh, it, it's more or less like I'm not less being specific. I just figure he's just assuming that we just killed them all. That they were the ones responsible for that big slaughter. No, the 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 first group, the Tuesday group. Yeah. I, yeah. And I'm just talking about in general, but. Mm. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be like, which goblin group are you talking about, good sir? Uh, they were the peaceful one. I'll be right back, but I'm gonna be listening. Okay. Um, I have no idea which one were, were those, to be honest. I don't know. Uh, it was the, I know it wasn't the last one, but no. By the time you guys got there, their encampment was burnt to the ground. Oh no, I was saying this in character. Oh, gotcha. Because, like I said, I wasn't there when it happened, so... But nobody is perfect. <clears throat> we will speak to our fellow men about this. Um, but also, my belief is that you should be open to believe whatever you wish. Uh, just as long as you're accepting of others as well. Mm. Whatever makes life easiest. <laughs> It just sounds like we're all in the boat of just do what feels right to you. Uh, M. Shek turns to him and says, We will burn your lands to a crisp. Do not want to face us. And he turns to her and says, I know you only have one dragon. And like, okay. you just see this, like, her facial expression goes from being um, very angry to. Oh crap! I do want to say this right now, just just to break, just you know, just to break the angle. It's like, hey, hey guys, I, I, I know I know nothing was going on between you two. As much as like a good, you know, a burning of the lands and whatnot and slaughter and all that. I I actually quite curious what this deal was, this informal deal. And if we could be first before or everything goes bad first. And Emshek turns to you, not, uh, Lilith turns to you and says, You're a disgrace to... You, your question is not even worth answering. Answer it? Come on now, I just... We, we don't know what the hell is going on between you two. And it will stay that way. Sassy, I like it. Um... I think she's just asking for trouble at this point. Should we have this conversation after dinner? <laughs> he kind of he kind of sighs, and Adana, his wife, she says, "Yes, let's finish eating." Wow, why is this cup so big? If you're zoomed in really close, this picture oh, yeah, is, are... is massive. Dude, Fucking huge, dude! Like I'm gonna get cups. drunk. <laughs> big. Yeah, no, they're like the size of heads. Big yeah, ones. like if you zoom in, I just because I'm like super zoomed in right now. The, the picture 
on the table is taller, is almost just as tall as... The Kobold? As, as uh, Count Dragon standing in a chair. <laughs> I don't know, I assumed this was made for dwarves, but... Yeah, or like back. giant cups. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's. So. And she says, "Let's eat and enjoy this evening." He turns to you guys, says, "Would you like to stay the evening, and we can finish this discussion in the morning?" Before I answer that, at least want to take a look at uh, Lilith. Do an insight check to see if she's going to possibly kill us in our sleep. Okay. Or run. Give me a give me an insight roll. Yeah, I feel like we need to have that. No, I don't know shit. Seven. Yeah, I mean, she could or she couldn't. Um, it's lovely. Give me an investigation check. All of us? Uh, just Uru. Which is going to be bad. I got negative one to that, so. Ah, you got it. You got it. I what lost the die. Oh, no. no I got <laughs> oh, it's on the second floor somehow. <laughs> The um, lack of people skills make you not know people. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good killer, not a good... <laughs> not a good. Just, just kind of looking her kidding. over, I mean, her armor doesn't seem impressive. Uh, she may know some spells, as her armor is not, like, fine material. It, just, it doesn't look any different than, you know, regular armor. Well, that's um, the thing. That should be frightening, then. But uh, I guess I'm going to look at the guys say, uh... So stay the night. I got no objections. I am all for the night. I have no qualms. Okay, I guess we're staying for the night. <laughs> all right. Uh, you kind of, you know, eat in peace a little, you know, quietly. Mm. 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 Is it that awkward quietness right now? Yes, like... it is very oh, yeah. awkward. It is the Shrek dinner and Shrek 2 with the parents. Just. You know what? I I'm going to try and be the fool here. <laughs> And break the awkwardness and say, like, hey, you know what? I, well, how do you guys feel like hearing a story about my own people, my tribe, just just to pass the night while we eat? And I'm just going to do a performance roll. Oh, th uh, 13. So it's, <clears throat> it's not great, but it's not bad. Okay. And I think I'm just talking about, like, I think the I think in this case, I'm just talking about general folklore stories in regards to my people's tribe, like okay. following like the cave stars, so to speak, like a metaphor like that. Okay. And you guys are just kind of, you know, quietly chatting and stuff like that. And uh, Countess Dragon says, and I will see you to your room. Uh, and well, just after she's done eating, she just storms out. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Like, Hope we can talk again. Like, leaves. Oh, like, you hear the doors open and slam shut. I'm going to look at Dagon real quick. Is that going to be a problem for any of us? No, more of a problem for me, but well, I, 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 I will handle them. It is still a young dragon, we found out, right? Like, it's still a baby. Yes. Because <clears throat> you're, like, 22. Sick-ass roll. Yeah, it was, like, a 22, yeah. yeah. It was just a young dragon, and that's the only one that they have. Hmm. A baby. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I can use the restroom. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, can we actually take a, a break for a second? Yeah. I gotta run out. That's fine. I'm okay. stuck on uh, Eric Peterson would like to close a thing. How do I fix that? Let me try to resummon you to the board, and that might work. Okay. I didn't want to say anything while we're running. Did it go away? No. Uh, well, let me... I'm going to try to open that door. There we go. It's gone. Okay. Uh, let's see if she's going to lead you guys upstairs. I'm going to drag your minis upstairs, because it'll be a nightmare for you guys. da 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 da, -da. Um, seeing what shenanigans you guys get into. Yeah, I'll take a quick little break. Go stretch my legs while I get that up here. Mm hmm There. Okay. 
I'm gonna stretch my legs. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Cool bold. <laughs> All right, Dota's back. Oh, Cryman's still out. Yep, we got moved upstairs. Nerd, okay. nerd moved us up there. We'll be going to our rooms and all that. Um, and also, hey, nerd. Oh, he's AFK. Ah, oh, seven right, minutes. Is it bad if I want to kill the one in purple? No, I low-key thought that we were going to. Uh, I was. She I was, stays the night. <laughs> I was. I was about to fucking snap when she was talking to Uru poorly, but I figured it wasn't my place. I figured that uh, if I did anything, then there might be some backlash. You know, completely out of character though. If you go out to that cremation thing, the the, yeah, the, the thing. Building outside. Mausoleum. God damn, look at that. <laughs> yeah, you should you should rectify something like this. Uh, have you seen my basement? Have you seen my house? Yeah, it looks like a torture chamber, like a BDSM chamber. Yeah, somewhere. everybody says that. It's not BDSM though. If anything, it's more like this. Oh well. So in the middle of the night, though, I'm sneaking out this bitch. You're going to go look? No, 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 no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think I'm going to be up myself because I have a fucking horrible fucking feeling. Did she leave or did she just exit? No, she left, dude. She slammed the doors and fucking bailed. Yeah, but we should have heard if her dragon took off or not. Because it's still a can. fucking dragon. Mm-hmm. Everybody back? Uh, no, we're still missing Tryman. Uh, question: Did we hear her take off? Oh yeah, you, you guys <laughs> heard her leaving the door shut. As far as you know. Okay. Uh, but we didn't hear the dragon fly or anything, no. right? You have no sense of the dragon even being here. Interesting. So currently, are we being escorted to our rooms? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for Tony to get back. 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 Okay, yep. cool. Um, uh, as you guys reach the top of the stairs, you know, it's nicely well done. Uh, whoever built this did a fantastic job. There's nice big windows everywhere. Uh, the carpet looks amazing with these torches. Uh, and and Dragon said, says to you guys, we will discuss this in the morning. Discuss the good. issues further. I've some things to be um, uh, discussed with you about installing leadership in a council of sorts in uh, Dinkleberg. I will see you all in the morning. And How do you? He, you know, he goes to his room. Door shuts behind him, and uh, Adana says. Well, Follow me down the hallway, and you may pick any of the rooms. We have a room with three beds. We have a uh, and two queen size beds. Um, I want one with a window. Mm, they all have windows. They all have windows. <laughs> An accessible window. I think we should go to the three room. Yeah. Uh, Are we all three gonna share a room? Yeah, what? It would be They're nice beds. It will be down the hallway. 
Yeah, all three yeah. of us are just gonna bunk in the same room. <laughs> we will have breakfast in the morning. We will come and get you when it is ready. Thank you, Countess. Thank you, madam. Alright, as soon as I as soon as I give it five minutes, and then I just want to make sure every painting that has a face. It's on have eye holes. Yeah. Uh give me an investigation check, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm... <laughs> I mean, my characters are, you know, not really trust me. So it's just like, okay, they know a lot about us. We know nothing about them. Seven. They are paintings. Are there All any right. paintings in this room? Yeah, they're on the walls. Look. I can't see any. Oh, hang on. I think my shit maybe. Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, you might have to adjust you. your green bar on the side if yeah, you yeah, don't I see did. torches and stuff. It popped up. I don't know about you guys, but I just have a bad feeling about this Dagon guy. He knows a lot about us, especially Umbra here. You know, which, I don't know how, but you must be... I, I don't know. If you get burned on the stake, I'm sorry. He's got eyes of spies. I know he probably has spies, but that's the freak thing. Who in town is telling information about us? Assuming it's someone from town. Consider, and he said that he had links to heroes. I'd imagine Gurky might have a role to play in all this. Or an understanding. Either um, way, I'm concerned about what he has in mind for a whole establishing, installing a leadership or a council. I would like to propose a plan to both of you. You see, I am going out that window. <laughs> <laughs> and down to the ground. <laughs> I want to point out, Umbra. Yes. That me nor Ruru knew that you touched the statue, and he knew, and he was already in the dining facility or the dining room. That's fine. Are you sure it is? <laughs> it's a wise idea to sneak out. Yes, I'm going out that window. <laughs> I want to go. Look at the graves. You're you're at least twenty feet up in the air. That is fun. I have a plan already. You're gonna okay. use all um, the best sheets, aren't you? Just no. Letting, just letting you know. It's a fool's way of doing things. I'm gonna get some sleep. If somebody wants to be on watch, go right ahead. But I'm I'm not I'm not agreeing to anything. Uh, I think curiosity. What's what kind of door handle is this? Uh, it's just a simple knob. No, right, so it's a turn knob. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it is a turn. <laughs> well, I didn't know it was one of those latch ones where it's like you could put a board through, like, you know, like. Nope, just a, just a simple doorknob. All right. Well, I don't think bear came. Would seem like a good idea. So, good night, everyone. If you hear me screaming in my sleep, you know what that means. Um, is fine familiar or last for an hour? Okay, cool. So, <laughs> how long are you waiting until they go to sleep? I'm going to wait about two hours. Okay. But in this time, what I would like to do is I would like to cast tensor. Well, it's not casting. It's ritual. Uh, yeah. I'm going to sit on the windowsill and I'm going to cast rituals of uh, the floating disc. And I'm going to make stairs out of them because it doesn't say I have a limit to how many I can make. Is it a concentration? It is not. Hang on. Let me see if you can do this. <clears throat> not gonna say no unless you are breaking the game. Wow, that's a. How long does it last for? It lasts for one hour. And it doesn't say anything about recasting the spell, right? Nope. Damn. Uh, hey, Do it. it. See here. Um, I mean, you're burning spells. Uh, the rituals. I can sit here for ten minutes each and cast each one. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Casting time is an action plus 10 minutes. And the last an hour, and yeah, you can sit there and make stairs. You can spend several hours <laughs> and make stairs. How many? Uh, 10. So you said I'm 20 feet up, right? Yeah. How tall is the average stair? A foot? Yes. So I need to make 20 of them. So that'd be 40 minutes. Uh, again what if each one oh shit oh yeah casting time is 10 minutes sorry i got that yes you would yeah. have to, you would have to spend 40 
minutes uh, doing that. Perfect. I would like to spend 40 minutes on this window seal casting <laughs> disc <laughs> to make stairs down. I like to imagine that the Count does have a spy outside just watching us. It is just going, <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Well, I don't think you can see this, can you? Tensor's floating disc? I mean, I think you have to, at least to know where it is. Because if I'm correct, the disc disappears if it comes out of range or you put too much weight on it. And Still, either way, go on. Go on with your... I'm, I'm looking... Plan. I, I hope saddle? you break a leg. Like, I hope something bad happens. You break a leg and then the cow finds you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing there like a fucking deer. Just help. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. All right. There's going to be backlash for this. There's going to be backlash for this, and we're going to all have to be a part of it. All right. So but don't worry. If it's oh, anything, yeah, it's that beautiful. Nerd, that's lovely. <laughs> I want to say, if there's anything I know about D and D adventures, it, it will always solve it with blood and murder, anyway. So, oh, oh lord, oh at I least, love it so much. At least doing it haphazardly. I love the disc. <laughs> if I come back just to lose Eric to floating discs, would either of you like to join me in this endeavor? We'll no, I'm, sleep, I'm going to remember? sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're waking us up right now, I don't think it's going to matter much. All right, so you're going out the window, huh? Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, hang on. My game froze up a little bit. There we go. Here, I'm just going to drag you through. Okay. Oh, I can actually set you on the plates. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. That's fucking awesome, man. Mm. So, yeah. I had to ask you, um, how quiet are you being right now? I mean, he can whisper, so he can do it. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna climb down my little plates. Okay. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to the graveyard. Okay. Now these, uh... All these discs are floating at you, floating to you at the same height. Yes, but I don't realize that. Uh <laughs> Alright, head head to the graveyard. I was gonna say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna remember this at all. But yeah, all the discs are floating behind you at that same yeah. height and everything. Cool. I'm it's gonna like a bad sitcom episode right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna sneak around the backside of this graveyard, right? Okay. And then da, da. Give me an athletics check to get over that wall. <laughs> oh. da, da, da. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a four. You are so excited to like yeah, graveyard at night that you trip and fall right onto your face, right into the graveyard. Like you don't you're don't you're like just eyeballing all these graves. And you don't even notice the railing because it's a different height uh, and level. And you just trip right over it and fall right on your face. I take this back. I take it back. It's not a car. It's not a sitcom. It's a cartoon at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, I want to spend about ten minutes just looking over these stones and see which one is about. I don't want the freshest, but I, I don't want something stupid old. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the guys at the room. In the room, um, you guys are woken up by a knock at the door. Oh God, no! <laughs> there's a loud, there's a loud groan. I'll get it. I'll get it. I can't see my character. Oh, oh here I got you. There you go. Glitched. I, 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 I want to say it before I open the door. At least go. Who is it? It is me, Countess Adana. And it is uh, middle of the night. I'm naked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, you would be in like normal clothes. You wouldn't be in your armor. But tell me, I don't need that armor, so I'm good. But either way, I guess I'm gonna open the door, show off my cobalt um six pack and all that. It just oh, I, think I, I don't have a lot of strength, so. The scales. Are you happy to see me? <laughs> ah, good. You woke up. We may I'm have a bit. Of, we may have a bit of a concern. 
Um, how bad is it, and do I need to kill someone? Yes. Oh? We, uh... We have detected Imshek's army in the sewer, in the catacombs beneath the beneath the manor. Hold on a moment. Did you say army? Well, we're not sure exactly how many of them, but there's quite a few underneath the manor right now. Again, the word army should be the key word. Um, hey, Eric, do you think you can, you know, fight an army with just me only? An Umbra? Okay, let's think it's mega Eventually. <laughs> You're pretty. You're pretty fucking spry for a small fry. Well, I, I, that's a word of confidence. So, I guess we don't have a choice. In, uh, you guys are gonna always big for this one. <laughs> I'm gonna help. All right. In that case, I'm gonna help um, Eric put his armor on. Okay. Mm. We'll be out momentarily. Come, uh, if you, come down to the dining room when you guys are ready. Uh, I will lead you having, through the kitchen. If you have any guards, please wake them up now. That is going to be difficult. God. When you're ready, no, come, come down. <laughs> okay. Right, so pretty much, th I think it takes like 10 minutes to put on armor. Yep. So back to uh, Umbra. Yep, uh, while we're doing that. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I, this is just ridiculous. Jesus Christ, Family what have we gotten ourselves into? Well, don't worry. Hopefully the Purple Glow will come in in time and take us away. And, they'll... and hopefully uh, Lilith will just kill everyone. Mm -hmm. Lil Myth, or whatever her name was again. I I want her head. I want her head and I want her armor. Oh, and here I was going to... I was hoping to charm her. <laughs> You're in love? No, <laughs> I was in there too. I'm like, damn, dude, she kind of, she kind of, you know. <laughs> does have some long locks, man. I was kind of digging that. Well, that purple armor oh, kind of. But no, I didn't really describe her that well. So either way, nah, this is more the fiery patri hatred of passion that she has. Good fire. Mm. Come on now. Speaking from a kobold. Yep. So uh, which one of us is going to go get uh, Umbra? I'm assuming, so I'm assuming. The count already knows. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> also, I'm uh, uh, now. so did you do an investigation check on these? Uh, I did when we first got here on the general gravesite to see if there were any new ones and stuff. Okay. And you said there were some yeah. about a year old. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of looking through the 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 graves, and yeah, you can uh, you find one that's you know fits your time frame. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna start playing my whistle. Okay. That's gonna uh, summon one a zombie. Yep. I'm gonna raise a zombie this time, not a not a skeleton. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, here, let me do this. And was there only one available, or was there? Uh... Yes. Only, only one came up out of the graves. You know what? Uh, nah, nah, I, I'm not going to be too much improv on you. Uh, are you guys uh, getting dressed? Yeah. Yep. All right, move your well, characters down to the bottom of the main stairwell. Well, I think I'm actually having an, uh, James' character get dressed, since I don't really need to wear armor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it took ten minutes? Yep. About? Yeah, I think the book says it takes like ten minutes to put on on armor, but it takes like a minute to take off armor. Yeah. All right. Let Let's go. Come on. We're in a hurry, and you follow. You can follow her back to the open door into the kitchen. Uh, and you see some of the 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 staff is back there. You now they seem a bit nervous. Um, and she walks over to where's that? Where's that? here? Uh, let me adjust some flooring here. He kind of steps back out of the way. Well, wait does. for this. Um, Eric, if we're going to die here, well, at least I know it's dying with you. Yep, it was an honor serving with you. You truly are a warrior. Uh, and like a hatch opens and you guys can see a, a ladder going down. 
I want to say something really quick. I want to say like, I think uh, I think one of, I think our comrade has gotten lost. Uh, um, is there any way I could go gather him really quick? She kind of sighs. See if you can find the way in uh, through the um, uh, the church building outside. There should be a secret passage in the there. Mausoleum. Yes, the mausoleum. There should be a secret passage on that side, and uh, we will continue this way. Okay, I'm going to sprint for the main door. I guess while, we're, while I'm alone with the Countess, uh, so it, are we expecting any kind of help, or at least the dead rising and helping us as a neutral party? I am the help. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think it's like, I'm assuming that I'm right behind her, once you stop looking around, doing the whole cross my fingers, going, please be a powerful mage. Please be a powerful mage. <laughs> I am the help. I love that response. Do you want me just to keep going over towards Yeah, I just go to the graveyard. Um, Umbers, you guys climb down the ladder. You guys kind of come into a catacomb. And there is a... Uh, a there's a path... Yeah up into your right, there's a path straight ahead, and there's a path left. Which direction would you like to go? This is me, right? This is you, yep. Uh, can you say the path again real quick? Sorry, um, I was messing with the whole um, height slider. Okay, uh, it is kind of off and up into your right, one directly ahead, and one to your left. All right, I'm going to ask her real quick. Uh, do we have an idea where they're coming from? They're, my husband just detected them and. Somewhere's in the catacombs. Alright, well, I'm going to ask her to step back real quick because I have a bear trap that I'm going to set, like, at the ladder, so to speak, somewhere around there, and just do a survival check to try and hide it up. Okay. Give me a survival roll. Uh, that's... Yep, I do have a hunting trap. Oh, 22, that's well hidden. Nice. Yes. Now there's a hunting uh, trap. All right, well, I'm going to... Well, I'm telling you, this is just in case we take the wrong path. I at least want to yell up to, you know, the people upstairs. Heads up, there's a trap down here. And I'm going to take the the right path, I believe. Uh, okay. This okay. one right here. Gotcha. Yeah. That. You have dark vision, so it does make this job so much easier. Uh, and as you set the trap, uh, you see Adana just kind of hold out her arm, and a sword just forms out of midair, and then Ooh. over her body, uh, chainmail armor with a badge like on her like neck chest area, just kind of almost all magically forms over top of her. At that point, it was going to break out a character, go off set, and ask, are we now doing an anime or something, or a magical girl show? What, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> this is my power. No, I, I said off set, so I'm talking to the writers and all that. Fourth, fourth, fourth wall. Fourth wall break. <laughs> yep. That's funny. All right. Um, it is, by the time that this is kind of happening, um... I had to turn the sun up so you can see on, on downstairs. Uh, we'll go back over to Eric and Umbra. Um, yeah, back over to Eric and Umbra. I'm, I'm sitting I'm, there I'm... talking to the zombie. Umbra, get your fucking shit together. We gotta go to war. What the fuck do you mean go to war? <laughs> Come on, we don't have time to lose. Uh, Uru is already fucking underground. They're they're attacking. Nibbler, come Nibbler. on. Nibbler. <laughs> Really, Nibbler? <laughs> Fucking necromancers. You should have control over him as well. Yeah, I'll have to move him separate. But We got name. permission to go into the mausoleum, by the way. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, oh I, I did the thing again. It's okay, you're good. So, do you mind filling me in while we go? What the fuck's happening? We're He's being attacked way. by Illith, correct? Uh, Lilith. Oh, Lilith. I love what's happening here. Um, question: Is there actually a skeleton right there on that on that thing? Yes. Cool. I'm gonna play my <laughs> my whistle again. 
to bring that bad boy. How many times can you do that in a day? Two. <clears throat> You're bringing a, can, a skeleton out? Yes. I can only have two with this whistle. Okay. So two at a time is my cap for that. <sighs> Man, this is just your game today, huh? Mm. No, this is how he's been flying. This is the only way I can survive. <laughs> All right, I want to look at him and I want to be like, there's a secret. Nice. That's a badass skeleton. Uh, there's a secret passage somewhere in the church area yep. in, in here. In the we got to fucking here, yep. find it. Cool. Um, <laughs> let's each open a coffin. <laughs> okay. Uh, go to a coffin. I'm uh, opening this one. All right, Eric, give me a strength check. Uh, 12 plus 3, uh, I believe. Yes. Am I wrong? So 15, yeah, you're able to slide uh, the coffin open. What, do I have an open coffin? That's that's the real They They don't. Don't bust my balls like that. Sorry. Um, Just the one that I had in my basement. Uh, no, no open coffin. Uh, yeah, you're able to slide open the coffin, and it's just bones and rags and like very old rusted armor okay umber you going to try to open that one mm -hmm. three you're like and that doesn't even budge okay and then i come over my, and try to help him my yes. skeleton and zombie are also going to be trying to open a cough coffin each uh okay uh, give me, uh, Eric, give me a strength check with advantage. So 2d20 plus, take the higher of the 2d20s. Uh, all right, so now 20 plus 3. Nice, yeah, you... Uh, <laughs> Ripped um, it off. <laughs> yeah, you completely destroyed this coffin, thrown it onto the <laughs> ground. Sorry, I, I actually... That's that. fine. Uh, there, now you have control of the skeleton as well. Uh, yeah, you completely destroy this coffin. It's coffin bones rattle out of it. Uh, rusted armor and sword. Nothing. Nothing. Can I slide these bones from this one inside of my bag of holding? Yes. <laughs> Yay! <The> horrible <laughs> human being. I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna just look at you and just be like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? And then, are my skeleton and zombie able to open these? Uh, give me strength rolls. Cool. Carl. Carl gives no Fs about what's inside and just flips over the coffin and it goes, uh, <clears throat> shattering down the lid slides off and skeleton bones just fall out of it. <laughs> I'm starting to think that it's not in a coffin. Also, that's Nibbler. Um, so not Nibbler. Then, quick roll for the skeleton. Fucking yeet. Yeah, he just... You can actually hear some of the bones breaking as he slides off the lid. The lid falls down and cracks onto the ground. And the only oh. thing inside is skeletons and rusted armor. You know, fucking war crime. Muscles, he is pretty strong. He's full of hatred and dead. Um, cool, I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna gather those. They're kind of everywhere I'm, now. They're too much I'm gonna time. run. Go ahead. Sorry, it's your turn. I'm jumping ahead. Nope, you're all good. That's the end of mine. Uh, those guys just fucking flip everything up. I'm gonna run over and try to find. Can can I use perception to try to locate? Yep. <laughs> can I use the in game skill to find this? Well, yeah. <laughs> fucking... Struggling. Yeah, We're just it's... fucking destroying everything in their shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, perception plus one. Okay, that's a twenty. Sixteen. Um, over in the northwest corner, so left of the main like altar, uh, looks like looks to be uh, you know, the the flooring isn't quite similar as uh uh the rest of the tiles all right i'm gonna uh, try to open i guess okay or mess with yep uh give me a strength check uh 
Uh, 11. Okay. Window gap. Uh, let me figure out how the best way to get you guys down here. <laughs> it's just destroyed all of their family fucking tomb. And you reanimated one of their ancestors. Jesus Christ. Just delete some of this. Drop you guys in. Wee. Wee. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wee. <laughs> uh. Uh, when you guys, you guys find the ladder and when you climb down, um, there is a pathway going this way. Pathway going this way. What is here? Oh, okay. That's just a bug. Uh, bugs. <laughs> oh, I'm missing a floor tile. That's what threw me off. I think I accidentally deleted a floor tile when I deleted the floor above. Can't have that. This is a professional D and D game. All right. Uh, yeah. You see a path going that leads back towards the manor, and there's a path that leads out away from the manor. Um, we'll go back over to um. Uru. Uru. And you're going down this path, right? Yes, and just as up, I, I need to blow the torch, but that's just more for, not for, it. It, the torch is not on, it's just for the lighting. The the, mm. the torches that are here are lit. No, I'm talking about for my, for I my know. character. I know, I'm letting you know, these torches down <laughs> here are already lit when you come down here. Yeah, I'm just saying that I'm not lighting a torch. Okay. I'm just doing it for myself for the game. Like for just, visual. Yeah, just seeing, like, make it. Just make it easier for me to see out of character. I think he's trying to give you a hint. Uh... Yeah, there's, uh, you come down around the corner. Right. As you make your way down uh, to this corner, uh, you run into a dead end. Hey, and... uh... I w and uh, Adana says to you, I wish I could be more help, but I've not been down here since I was a child. Is there anything worthwhile to tell me about that you do remember from childhood? These torches should not be lit. Someone has already lit them. Well, that's reassuring. Um, there used to be old traps and stuff down here from, like, dealing with bandits and whatnot. And grave robbers. Wish you told me that sooner before I started walking down a hall. Didn't ask. You just kind of ran away. <laughs> I just glare at her and just... Alright, I'm going to at least do a perception check on my way back. Just to make sure I didn't activate a, a trap as I pass by. Okay. Give me a perception roll. Eleven. Uh, yeah, it doesn't appear to be any traps. All right, so second route now. Uh, you can go to your right or to the far side. Uh, far side. Okay. Give me a perception check. And as I'm doing this, I'm saying to her, "Is there anything you else want to tell me besides that I haven't asked yet?" Fifteen. Watch for cavens, and they <laughs> happened when I was a child, but. Uh, 15, you can hear, um, almost sounds like metal clanking. Uh, coming down this hallway? Uh, around the corner, yes. Alright, uh, at least one roll for stealth now. Okay. Uh, just see if I can, you know, possibly get, at least let her know that, hey, be quiet, someone's around the corner. And I'm going to got 21 stealth to try and see uh, who's on the other side and see if I can get the uh, drop on them. Okay. Let me uh, finagle this real quick. Oh my god. So, trying to get things into walls at different level while being invisible <laughs> is not easy to do. So you guys should appreciate this. Oh, uh, I've appreciated you ever since you threw the disc out the fucking window. That was beautiful. Um, no, we need, we need more minis. <laughs> That's BS. Uh, as you 
go around and you kind of peer around the corner. I don't even know where these guys went. Oh my gosh, they're all the way back outside. Thanks. By the way, the name of this skeleton is McRib. Oh my fucking god. I'm not going to be able to remember all this. What was the name of the last one? Uh, the last one was Dug Up. No, the one after that. Nibbler? No, Bone something Rattlin. Oh, Ben. Ben Rattlin. Ben Rattlin. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I have to ask you, uh, McRib, does anyone come out like uh, only like, at seasonal times? Yes. Like... <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty... He, He's a one once a year kind of guy. <laughs> um, there you kind of peek around the corner. Uh, looks like that you know there was a cave in at one point. Um, it almost looks like maybe a, a, a level above fell in. Um, but there are two dragonborn um, warriors around the corner. Want- I do want to confirm with uh, Lilith, let her know that, hey, there's two dragon boy around the corner. Uh, uh, and I'm assuming and Lilith's company is with them, right? Um, she did not arrive with any soldiers. So they must have came here after she left. Either way, they're not yours or anyone no, that you know. You do not have uh, soldiers like that here. Uh, well, get ready to ambush them. Okay. And, and as I say that, using my stealth roll, I am going to do like a little um, uh, do the whole like pick up a stone, throw it up against the wall, and just sort of like wait for them to get to the corner. Like they're try- they're just kind of like searching around down there, trying to figure out why this caved in, and they're like looking at the level of. I know, I'm just, well, actually, I actually don't know. I'm just saying, like, I'm throwing a, qu- a stone against the wall. Okay. Doing, doing the whole bait then to get closer to me, because th- even though I'm small, I'm pretty sure they're going to see me coming down the hallway when there's no cover. But you rolled a 21 stealth, so you'll be fine. All right. Uh, oh, and the, I, the rocks there are difficult terrain. Either I'm going to tell her to wait behind, I'm going to use my 21 stealth then, and just get, as soon as she hears fighting. Um, I want to ask you this question before I do anything else. Is it possible if I get a running start, I can jump over the rocks and attack them? You can certainly try. Alright. I'll need uh, athletics or acrobatics. Uh, they're both the same, so... That gets you a long-range weapon, buddy. I got nine. Uh, as you run up, you don't quite make the jump, and you land in the rocks there, and you lose your, uh, sneak attack. I, uh, can I still save this with an intimidation roll and say, you know, like, trying to look menacing with the two swords in my hand? Uh, you can, and before you do that, as soon as you land in those rocks, um, you see a a long sword go flying by you, and it almost looks like it's a spectral. Like from behind me or in front of me? Um, from behind you. And she's going to roll a nat twenty, so that's an automatic twelve. Oh God! Oh God! It's not happening to Plus me for two, once. Fourteen. This one's dead. <laughs> Give it a second. And when it hits that creature, uh, that dragonborn, you can almost see the uh, the magic just dissipate over it as it crumples to the ground. Um, and uh, how do I want to do? Uh, so we'll go back to the other group real quick. Uh, I can uh, give me a perception roll, you two. Plus one. A 17. Okay. Um, Eric, you can hear um, fighting. You can hear kind of echoing through the tunnels uh, coming back towards the manor. Okay. Uh, you can hear Umber yell, or, uh, Uber yelling. I yelled yet. Can I tell what path it's... Uh, nope, just in that general direction. So you can either go straight down the hall, or you guys can make a right here. 
I am going to oh. try to make what you get. He gave us two options, but there's three options. I mean, I gave you the so heading, I gave you the heading. direction it came from. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm heading I'm going to head straight down, I guess. Okay. So straight down. Uh let's see here's you. Get caught on a torch. Hang on. Da, 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 da. Could happen here, but that'll open up. That'll open up. Actually, I could probably just go ahead. You're going to be able to see this. Since you guys came from this way. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and stop there. The corner. Um, and go ahead and... Oh, let's see here. We're not, I'm not going to bother with initial. We'll just go in order here. So uh, he's going to run up to you, Uru. Uh, with... And pull out his great axe. Uh, and miss you. Uh, he kind of trips and stumbles over the rocks. And he's kind of surprised that you just come running down the hallway at him. And it will be your turn. Yeah, I go, yeah, don't worry. We all have that problem. And then I go, <laughs> then I bonus action to um, rage and do attack. Okay. Uh, as soon as I get the damn... Does he get his pack tactics because she's near him? Nope, she's not near him. Oh, shit. She threw, yeah, like, we... she threw a spectral longsword at him. Yeah, 21. Uh, yeah, pack... 21 hits? Yeah, pack tactics works more along the lines of uh, if I have an ally within the same enemy, within five feet of the enemy, then it's... Then it... Yeah, then it e everybody has pack tactics in this game. In my game. Not that... As long as you're as long as you're within melee range, you have pack tactics in this game. Gotcha. Just because I make combat two harder. Okay, two d six. Right, the first one is five. The second one is seven. So five plus seven. twelve points of damage. Uh, he's looking pretty bad, but he's still up. All right. Yeah, that's my turn. Um. <clears throat> She will peek around the corner. Um, I like your fighting style. And uh, <laughs> you see this purplish green, uh, almost smoke, form back up out of the, you know, out of the dead body as a longsword, and it goes flying back past you, like almost back to her. Uh, and she's going to hit with a twenty. Jesus. <clears throat> Kill him anyways. Yep. Uh, and then the long, the spectral longsword comes back at you and kills us. And Good thing that we didn't try to fight him. Run up to you guys, and we'll go back over to the other group. Uh, you see a, a blocked hallway uh, to your east. The only way to go is south. All right, we're heading south. Um, I, I before he goes any further. Um, would you like to send one of the disposables ahead of us first? Uh, that would probably be a good idea. Cool. Um, I'm gonna have... Nick no, Nibbler's gonna go first. As Nibbler hits that intersection, I'll need him to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, that would he, he's, out he's, a little bit. he's gonna fail. That's fine. Uh, he's going to take 12 points of piercing damage as arrows just all come out of these walls and hit him for that much. You said 12? 12. It was almost me. <laughs> Nibbler, you're like a little rough there, but as these spikes shoot out and hit him, I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> I give you a look like, thank you. <laughs> He's he's unfazed. He's he's just like. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move up. Yeah, yeah, you 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 send you go first. They're behind you. <laughs> uh, as you kind of make your way down to this intersection, you can go left, straight, or right. Uh, I want to go straight. I just want to keep heading down this hallway. Okay. So I'm gonna send Nibbler to keep going down it. Okay. Uh. I've actually, I'm going to inspect this trap and make sure it's not a resetting trap. Give me an investigation roll. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, it didn't do it. Uh, it's a 21. Uh, yeah, you're good. There, it's fine. There's no, like, resetting or rearming. Cool. Alright, well, he's going down there. Let you do your thing. Nibbler, I'll bit. need to make, I'll, you'll need to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> I love you, buddy. <laughs> uh, he's gonna fail. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, Nibbler! Uh, he's gonna take another 11 points of damage. Yeah, as he takes that damage, he just fucking crumbles. Um, back to Uru. I um, uh, they have you... an ability. What's his ability? Uh, undead fortitude. If damage reduces the zombie to zero hit points, it must make a constitution saving throw with a DC of five. Okay. Plus the damage taken. So he just has to make... He needs a plus the damage taken, so 16. <clears throat> nope. He's dead. He's yep. dead. Cool. Uh, back to Uru, we have uh, you and Adana here. Yeah, I do want to take a moment to look over the dead dragonborn just for insignias or, you know, like, some sort of symbols on them. Come um, on, you get an idea. They, I mean, they have some dragon markings on their hide themselves. And they have uh, great axes on them. But nothing, yeah. nothing, you know, discerning. Like, nothing that you would recognize. In that case, uh, I'm going to grab the gray axes and uh, whatever in the corn pouches. Uh, okay. And you said the two gray axes? Yep, two great axes. Um, and then you got uh, eight gold between the two of them. All right, and uh, yeah, and I do I hear the traps going off by chance or? Uh, give me a perception with disadvantage. Fair enough. Uh, first roll. Oh, ro roll it again. I was deleting dice that were stuck in the floor. Oh, well, that just saves me. Wow, I got both ends of the extreme. <laughs> you have no idea. Alright. In that case, I'm still going to follow the plan of, uh... But in this case, I'm going to do a perception now just to see if we're traps along the way. Okay. And I'm going to just keep on trying to be stealthy, so... And uh, that's a 19 for traps. Okay, you're not seeing and, anything there. And stealth is a... 12. Okay. Hey, hey, nerd. Yo. Uh, can you delete McRib? I just double-checked my, my whistle, and I'm only able to do it once every seven days. Uh, okay. Uh... <clears throat> Alright, uh, Uru, as you come down the... Uh, the corner here. Give me a perception check. Beautiful you. rolls today. Uh yeah, no uh no traps or anything, but you do hear scuffling around the corner. Right. At that moment, we was suspecting trouble again. Uh do I need to re-roll my stealth or am I still stick with my twelve? Uh re-roll yourself. Alright, I believe it's a plus four, so Alright, so it's twelve. Uh okay. As, uh, the, as I'm the two of you give me perception checks. Me too? Yep. Uh, we'll do uh, Eric and Umbra give me perception checks. Man. Oh, there he goes. Eric, you don't hear Six. anything. Nine. And uh, Umbra, you do not hear anything. Alright. Well, if you'll allow this, since my, I tell you don't know that it's my allies coming down that end right now, who is going to do sort of like anticipation? He's going to start walking faster, uh, or at least wait for the timing, and just start trying to do another whole jump thing again at at the first person or thing he sees. Okay, start moving down I, that I way. I like this. <laughs> well, I can't meta games. So. Uh, you hear a guy. You hear footsteps to your left and to your right. Uh, I'm aiming. I'm aiming for the one that sounds like it's coming towards me. Uh, maybe, on the right. uh, probably the one on the right would be closer to you. You know what? Screw it. Chaos roll. <laughs> Odd on left, even right. 
All right. Left. So I'm jumping in towards the left, hoping I'm going to hit someone, or at least the person that's coming from the right is going to get hit. Give me an athletics check. God, rolling under the map is so spazzy. Yeah. Uh, 11. Uh, you, as you go to do this, you kind of jump, and there is nothing there but a wall. Um, slams the wall? Right yeah, in front he slams of into the wall right in front of, and you're going to take a point of bludgeoning damage. I, all right, in that point, I'm going to look dramatically at the first person I see, even with my swords raised, and go, oh, hey, Eric. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna be sitting there dumbfounded with my sword in my hand, like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I thought you was—I thought you was some of the dragonborn that were down here. I would kill—we would have killed two of them already. Oh damn! You guys are working quick. You score any any kills? No, OC did. As I point out, uh, <laughs> the countess. I'm just gonna give her like a look, like, really? <laughs> I mean, she has. I mean, do you not see her in her armor? In her size. Yeah, she had the range on them. Um, so as you guys, um, you know, actually sit here and talk and I just walk straight by, um, you notice that there's, uh, like a small treasure trove at the end of this hallway. Um, oh. Countess Edina? Yes. Is that what I think it is? Um... Yeah, there could be some treasure down here. I mean, could have been from the people that that have been buried here. Oh, damn Listen, it. Uru, I'm going to be real fucking honest with you. Yes. It is treasure. Mm -hmm. There's fucking traps, brother. I know. She told me already. Wait. Oh, who, who died? Just making... When hurt? Uh, well... Uh, Yak was uh was raising the dead, and he had a zombie, and it got hit. He's just right up here around the corner where you jumped to. Oh God, I hope it's still alive. I hope we, because I can only imagine he's heartbroken right now. Oh yeah, he's probably dying inside. <laughs> Down the hall, they hear. Hitler, no! <laughs> All right. So anyway, I'm not gonna steal treasure uh, here. So um. Yep, I'm passing it up. Uh, Adana says, now that we have found your friends, I will return to the manor and protect it in case we are attacked above ground. Alright, well, don't, well, just remember, don't forget about that trap I laid down. Yes, I, I will remember. Thank you. <laughs> Two hey, seconds later, we hear screaming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where was that trap again? Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Gonna go back up there, and she's gonna be fucking tourniqueted, bleeding out. <laughs> uh, all fucking right. war crimes. If I've stopped here, I'm just mourning Nibbler. He was so young. All right, so I guess I, I'm gonna go follow the sounds of crying now, and just. <laughs> yeah, I'll be behind you. Hey, uh, Umba, uh, do you mind moving in the way? You know, I, I just go under your legs and just uh, <laughs> go past you. <laughs> Just crying. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Just shove them over. Um, there is a there is a path up and to your left, and there's a path to your right, which is west. Rock paper scissors. See which path we take. Uh, let's flip a coin. Um. Oh, okay. You really can't. Play. It's hard to play rock paper scissors fair. in this game. <laughs> uh, tails, we go left. F, F, um, heads, we go right. Oh. Uh, you might need to toss it off the map. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a two. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's heads. We're going right. Sounds good. Uh, give me a perception to... check. Both of us are just... Uh, just a room, because he's up front. Uh, 17. Um, you can hear... Um, creatures around the corner. Now, when you say creatures, you're talking about like just vague, like it could be anything, or like, yeah, is all right. I, I guess I'm gonna whisper to the group behind us, uh, we got some something around the corner, get ready as I go into stealth mode now. 
With 11, I'm getting worse. Uh, you're not very stealthy, are you? Managed to mess my stuff up. It's pretty easy yeah. until Spire. No, I managed to mess up my uh, word pad. Uh, what Read was your, your stealth? Book? 11. No, I have this stuff in my notes because I can't. In my rocket book, I cannot click on a link. Man, sounds like a I know it's product. it's uh it's terrible. No, rocket book was just a fancy notebook. I mean, it, it is, is, but I you can't put a URL link to D and D Beyond in there. You can't if you right. write it in there. I, I'm gonna get water right quick. No, because <laughs> turn, it turns into a PDF. Doesn't turn into a hyperlink. I'll turn you into a PDF. Um, wow. <laughs> Uh, so as you, you can hear, uh, da, 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 oh my god, alright, so I'm not a big fan of, like, underground stuff anymore. Yeah? And then this is gonna be here. I think the next time I do something underground, it's gonna have, uh, it's A separate own, board? It, yeah, it's own board with no yes. roof. That's what I did for my fucking, <laughs> for the one even, shot we did. I don't even know where these guys went. Oh, they're, on, oh, hey. they're above the ground here. Uh, it didn't hit the right <clears throat> button. Guys, just one stuck on a tombstone. Well, it's a little wonky trying to do all this uh, while things are hidden as well. You have to tap to see your character. You have to shift. Uh, you can't shift and grab them. Because then that pulls up Discord. He just revealed. You know what I think would be a great feature for this what for this client now? It's just a something similar to World Twenty. We have like a you can add in a fog of war or or at the same time just like do like a whole um click and drag of the box. As it's, to it, it's in here. Oh, okay. That's what I'm using. Oh, all right. I'm gonna shut up now. Uh it's it's wonky because the C revealed characters you have to hit tab. But then you can't shift and drag at the same time them through walls. That's why I've had trouble getting enemies down here. Uh, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm good, I got... Uh, what was your stealth roll? Uh, 11. Okay. Sorry. Uh, we'll wait for Jesse to get back with water. I'm back. Okay. I'm back. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Nope, you're good. Uh, what are you guys doing? I locked my dog in the other room. I'm gonna <laughs> let him go first. I'm just kind of slow following, just a little, a little hurt, Moping. you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I had just raised this guy. I worked so hard to get him. You know, he's he's the youngest dying out of all of my creatures. Never got to celebrate his first Earth, his first death. Yeah, he didn't get his first knuckle attack. But yeah, I'm just staying a little back behind, just sad, drooping. Alright, um, Umbra, I'll need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's like, it had such a mental impact on you. If, it, if it's mental, I feel like it has to be a wisdom save. You should toss it off the map so it don't glitch into the floor. I didn't say it was awesome. a mental. Ten. Okay. <clears throat> Keep going. Alright, so I just had a thought like, what if the water traps, but they didn't anticipate it being a kobold? So I'm like, I'm too light to set them off. Or too small. <laughs> or too short, it goes over top of you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're up, Jesse. What are you doing, man? I'm just kind of following along. I'm going to catch up to Uru. Okay. Around the corner, torch. and what do we see? A wall. A pony. Another wall. Um, uh, you, I'd like to there's test. De you definitely know. Let's see if they know that you are here. We might roll initiative down here. I do want to whisper to Eric. I'll wait. Uh, nobody else was stealthing, so they're going to hear guys with a 12. All right, let's roll initiative. I do want to say this to Eric real quick. You know, you know, for people who are supposed to have an army, 
this feels like an understatement or mm -hmm. right? I'm in agreement. Yeah, twenty three well my overstatement. Ugh. Five plus plus two. Um da, 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 that's uh, initiative, right? Yep, initiative. Alright, sounds like I'm going first, unless uh, Umbra has a plus twenty plus four. Nope. Mine's only a plus one, I got a twenty one. Alright. <laughs> no matter what, I couldn't beat you. Need this. Any more? Okay. <clears throat> Seventeen. Alright, let me get an uh, initiative set up real quick here. Uh, they definitely know you guys are there. Yeah. And what are these guys? You don't know. Oh, okay. Uh, what was it that you ran into earlier, Uru? A couple of Dragonborn. Uh, what do we know about Dragonborn? Are they a fairly common race that we know basic knowledge yeah. of? Uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't say it's like the kind of common where it's like, they're more common than me, but in the sense that you're more likely to see them as civilizations. And do we know if they have night vision or anything like that? Uh, I feel like that's a nature role. No. So we don't know if they do? No, they, they do don't. Know? Oh, okay. Perfect. Five, <clears throat> 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And assuming I don't see one, I'm just going to ready my action to attack the first thing I see around that corner. Okay. Yeah, ooh, is just in, this isn't ready mode, but either way, yeah, Dragonborn, yeah, just summon up, Dragon. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta get him a turn. Yeah, either way, Dragonborn, um, the more uncommon. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm more common than Dragonborn, but that's like a gray area kind of saying, like a tomato tomorrow moment. But it's, um, it's completely up to the DM. On yeah, that kind of but, stuff. Sorry, but yeah, and just in general terms, though, you're more likely to see a Dragonborn in c civilized society than you are going to see a kobold. Unless. And... Sorry. Yeah, he, he was done. We got to get through this. Okay. Uh, do we know that they're there, or is this they know we're here? But here, we they know, know that they're just in that journal area around the corner. Uh, cool. Can I summon a, a bat for a familiar? Sure. Cool. I'm gonna use my spell slot and just ba 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 a bat. Uh, uh, okay. What do you have in your bat, dude? Uh, I'm gonna have him just go down this corridor and I want him to try to put out any and all light. So like flap at a fucking torch. Try to put it out. You know I'm the only one that can see in the dark, right? I'm aware of this. This is Eric's gonna be swinging wildly. <laughs> You're fine familiar it's spectral, is it? It should be a solid object. Uh, let me double check this. Uh, familiar. A spirit that takes an animal form. Oh, so it is a spirit. So as it goes around trying to flap at uh, the torch, <clears throat> nothing happens. <laughs> Just a fucking pet. But yeah, you can see the two um, two dragons uh, and they are both uh, got one that is red and one that is almost or is he uh gold uh you would know that they both have fire breath weapons they both have what weapons they can breathe fire out of their mouth oh yeah yeah because they're red right uh red and gold both do fire yeah so they do exactly the same thing. Do anything else? Um, nah, that's the end of my turn. Yep. 
Uh, he, this guy is just going to pass uh, right through Spectral. I'm around the corner. And Uber, you can go ahead and hit him. I, I assume I can only use my one attack, so. Yep. Uh, that should be a plus six, if I'm correct. Twelve, I'm pretty sure it's going to miss. Uh, yes. As you clank off of his chain mail and shield. Damn it, I should have gone with a stab. Um, he is going to pull out, uh, it's a very fancy looking knife. Um, I'm going to pull that out. Uh, he's also going to get bigger. Oh. Oops. Too oh. Big. <laughs> Hang on. God. Wait, there's nothing in between? Now, now he's your size. Oh my gosh. All right. We'll just have to use that. Uh, he uses his enlarge ability and gets bigger. Gather his toes. <laughs> um, I, Go on. Nice I will bigger. need everybody. I'll need uh, Umbra and Uru uh, to make a. Uh, dexterity saving throw. Ten. Twenty. Okay. As a... Oh my gosh. As a little cone of fire comes out, uh, Uru, you're going to take two points of damage. Umber, you're going to take one point of damage. My temporary house is my temporary house is gone now. That'll be his turn. This other one is going to run up. Oh shit! Two, I didn't. Five, I didn't ten, my... fifteen. I never add my temp health for my house. I think it's right now one d four plus one. Yep, for a level one, which is where yeah. most of you guys are at. Except for me, I'm going to get my level two soon. Uh, this guy is going to run around the corner. Uh, pull out his great axe and take a swing at uh, Uru. Uh, Nate's going to miss you. Uh, so, Eric, you are up. As you definitely hear fighting around the corner. Okay. So, I'm going to. I think I'm going to move up right next to. Yeah, Umbra. Am I going to be in striking distance? Uh, let's hear 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, yeah, because I kind of put them on the edge, so I'll give it to you. Okay. <laughs> Me too, dude. <laughs> Down for that torch. Right there? Yeah. That look good? Yep, that'll work, because I kind of put the guy in the middle there. Okay, so that's going to be strength, so uh, plus you, three. Your great sword, because your proficient is a plus five. Okay, so plus five. So roll d20 plus five. Yep. Nat 20. Oh my gosh. All right. So that's an automatic 15 <laughs> points of damage. Now roll 2d6. What are you attacking? Uh, the big fucker. God damn it. Uh, so that is a. Uh, that is 21 points of damage to the big guy. Holy shit. Uh, and he's not looking great. Yep, just using my big fucking claymore, and I'm gonna fucking try to cleave him right down the middle. Uh, you hit him pretty good. You crack his shield, uh, and you you know you're you're cutting through his chainmail armor. Uh, Uru, you're up. Oh, uh, and Jesse, don't forget you crit on a 19 also. Yep. Yep. Okay, Uru, you're up. All right. At first, Uru is happy. And then Eric comes around with his devastating blow, pisses Uru off. And he uses his bonus action to go into a rage, and he attacks with advantage. Thank you, Pat. Uh, a dirty 20 is going to hit it. Yes, hitting the big one? Yep. Yep. Shit. And it was just going to say, the big one was mine! <laughs> As that's a 10, plus 12 points of damage. Okay. He is still up. Not great, oh, God. but he is still up. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, as I see them absolutely decimating this thing, um, I can't remember a second sting. There's not. Okay, so then I'm going to point at it, and there's going to be bells rolling through the air. 
Just the sound of boom. You need boom. to make a wisdom, wisdom save? saving throw. Uh, that's a fail. Okay. So then he's going to take one d12 of damage because he's already damaged. Yep. Please 12. Please 12. <laughs> take two damage. <laughs> he is still up. Beautiful. Um, and then. <laughs> Question: If they're blinded, uh, I guess they. If I back up, they're gonna have opportunity attack, right? Uh, the big one will. Yes, not. The... Okay, can I use my bonus action to throw this a handful of sand and glass into his eyes? No, because that would be you getting it out of your bag and out of your pouch oh, and doing it. That'd so be it's a, an action, yeah, not a bonus. Be a full action. Damn it! Okay. That's fucked, bro. <laughs> if, you're a, if you're a rogue, then maybe, but. Okay. Uh, I thought you were doing a spell, but that makes sense. <laughs> I'm just trying to blind a fucker. Um, I don't have anything I can do with a bonus action, can I? Probably not. Most wizards don't. Until higher level. Cool. Then. With that, I'm gonna have my. Bat just. Come back. Nah, he's gonna stay there. Bat's gonna keep flapping at the fucking fire. That's it. Okay. I'll put this out sooner or later. Alright. <laughs> um, uh, he has advantage because the buddy's next to him. Uh, Uru, he's gonna attack you with advantage. A plus six. Dang it! I got resistance! Oh shit. Uh, he's gonna hit you with a 25. Of course that's gonna hit. Come on now. A take it uh, six points or ten points of piercing damage. So five damage, gotcha. Yep, as you were stabbed. <clears throat> the next one, he is going to unleash a breath of fire at you guys, so I'll need a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, I technically got advantage on this. I missed that the first time. Yeah, it's a danger sense and all that. I can see why not blind, definitely incapacitated. So, Eric, so Eric passes. 19. Uh, Umbra fails. Twenty-four. Uh, Uru passes. So, uh, Umbra, you take eight points of damage. Everybody else oh takes God. four, and this is hot. fire damage. Hot, 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 hot. So I don't get the resistance on that one. Nope. Uh, and that'll be his turn. Eric, you are up. Okay, uh, big guy, cleave, you know, yep. the thing. Actually, maybe like a pommel, pommel attack. Okay. And uh, we're going to go d20 plus 5, 7, third, 12. Uh, that is not going to hit him with his armor. It just misses. Planks right off the shield. All right, that's it. Uh, Uru, you're up. Uh, dual wheel attack, pack advantage, pack tactics and all that, so the first hit is, a uh, 15. On the big guy, no. Alright, second one. Uh, 21. That hits. Alright, so that's a three plus five. Eight points of damage. And he is dead. Yeah, All right. Oh, he died. It's unfortunate. <laughs> so I'm going to then cast. Da, 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 da. I'm going to pull out an orb. I'm going to swirl my hand around as electricity starts f sparking from it. And I'm going to try to cast Chromatic Orb level two. Okay. I forgot. I need to do it in the fucking thing. Far enough away. Arcana. 23. Uh, you don't roll Arcana. You roll an attack. Oh. You try. Fuck. Which one's... Okay. It, might, it might be five anyways. I believe it's your intelligence plus your proficiency modifier. If it's a spell. Okay. My bad. I'm sorry. Nope, you're good. 
Oh, spell attack, right? There you go. Yes, it's plus five still. Okay. Uh, so that will still... Uh, that will hit. That's fantastic. Um, and then chromatic orb level two is four D8s. Sure. Casting yes. it out? Yes. Or 26 damage of electric. Oh, yeah, you absolutely just annihilate him. <laughs> this is for Nibbler! <laughs> Alright, so he turns to a fire and bloody miss. Oh, yeah, he is uh, all dead. That is so sad. Alright, uh, what did they have on, uh, on them? Um. Uh, the. Uh, the one guy just had uh, the great axe, and you know he didn't have any gear, armor wise. Just used the scales, uh, and the other one had a, a chainmail armor, a shield, uh, and a fancy looking dagger. I destroyed the shield and the chainmail, didn't I? No, you just damaged it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna grab it real quick for you guys, and. Uh... Yeah. Did that guy shrink back down? Yeah, he shrunk back down when he died. Cool. Can I, uh, can I stuff him inside of my bag of holding? Yes. You better Thank cut you. it up first. I think it's gonna be too big. Uh, bag of holding's pretty large. Uh, also, you said that he had a fancy dagger on him. Yes. <clears throat> uh, is it a specific kind of dagger, or just? So I just put it down as other notes for Fancy Dagger. Yeah, just put Fancy Dagger for now so you can get someone to look at it. It's got uh, dragon markings on it. Ooh. Um, I got what I came for. Uh, give me perception rolls. Everyone? Yep, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Eleven. Oh, seven. That's sweet fifteen. Uh, waiting, uh, okay. So the, uh, the, uh, Eric and Umbra, you, seems to be like there's fighting going on above ground. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Is that all? Yes, dude. Um, I want to keep exploring. I want to try to get back up the way that we came. So, we um, have, we'd have guys, to backtrack. Are you guys telling me this? Um, 